tell you something, mama. Enjoy it, man. You only live once, bro. No, 100%. Fuck what the naysayers say, bro. You gotta live, you, you gotta drink. Listen, homie, you gotta hold the steering wheel of your life. You know what I'm saying? Fuck what anybody says, homie. No. Ain't nobody here to live these moments no. but you. Facts. And it's like, the older you get, the harder it is to like understand that, which is like, bro, you only live once and you can't compromise too much. You can only compromise so much in your life until you realize like bro we're finna die any day now who knows who knows i could die tomorrow i can only compromise so much until until i say like bro this is this is where uh i'm calling it you know what i mean like i need to be able to do what the fuck i do what you gonna do you gonna live for everybody else you gonna live for you when you gonna start living for you here facts um for real honestly no Bro, I'm gonna tell you this, you can't live for a chick, you can't live for your parents, nigga, you can't live for your kids, hell, you can't live for your job if you can't live for you first. Facts. Indulge. Indulge, bro. Fuck the bullshit. Do you think they'll, they'll try to psych you out until you know you're doing wrong, bro, but that's just because they can't go with you. Facts. Remember that shit, homie. Do you, do you think Vegas kind of like over pushes this indulge? philosophy of like overindulging almost why do you think people get away for a little bit they want to have some drinks they want to go smoke they want to go gamble they want to go do things and not have anybody in their fucking ear if they did that back at home and if it was gambling and shit like this everywhere people would constantly have more problems than they would if they just came to one place got away from the bullshit and just hung out no facts you know 100 percent people be excited about going to vegas because they're like damn what happens in vegas what stays in vegas facts and also it's Sometimes. like times if you don't catch a court case. <laughs> I know, fact. <laughs> but also, like you're saying, like a lot of fake shit happens in Vegas, but a lot of real shit happens in Vegas where you come out here and you're like, you have these like things inside of you already where you're like, bro, I want to go gamble. I want to go Are drink. You the room key? Uh, yeah, I do. I just don't. Uh, yes, I do, I do. I do. Don't fucking. I do, I do. You cannot. Listen, I'm going to tell you why I win around here. You can't gamble. Well, like you was talking about Bell moving ahead, it's like moving away from it. You know what I'm saying? Where you gotta kind of, even if it's 30 minutes, you gotta drive to it, right? That way, I, I, how I've lived in this city for years is, homie, being able to walk by and I've gambled a little bit, I've done that shit, but I had to understand that I was already winning. <laughs> and when you understand that you're already winning, you'll walk past that shit, and that shit is nothing to you. Yeah. When I've had, I've had crap table dudes up here, man. When I like crap falling and shit, he walk by his shark. Hey, stop and play some craps. Nah, no, brother, I'm already winning. They can only do nothing but respect that they don't fucking grab you by your arm and make you. Yeah, bad. please, come on. Like, oh, please, God, play with us. It's okay, like, you're like, no, I'm good. You, let me teach you something real, teach the chat something funny. What? <clears throat> you notice how when you look around here, and I hope the chat even looks, you notice how there's no clocks? There ain't no fucking clocks in here, bro. Notice that? What the fuck? There's no Yo, windows. There's no, there's no windows clocks, and there's no nigga. clocks. There's no... Why would there not be clocks? Why would I not be able to look at the They don't want you to pay attention to the time of what you're doing because people will pay attention to that. No, there's they want you to no pay attention to drinking and spending your money. I've never seen a clock in a casino, my nigga. Sharp, this is like some Black Mirror shit that only you would notice because you've been here for so long. <laughs> black Mirror. <laughs> but this is like that... This is that yeah, shit. No it's like it's like that, that mental mental gymnastics. Not even on the not even on the slot machines, nigga. There's Bro, you're right. Not even not even right here. What time is it? I don't know. I don't know what time it is. There's no way to find out. You gotta have a card that works there to swipe on that to see what's even going on. You know, it's like you touch the screen and it didn't do nothing. Yeah. They walk by, swipe their ID shit, and that's when it pops everything up. Bro, that's fucking crazy, dude. Yeah, it's pretty late. Do you ever just feel like screaming like, we're all sheep, we're all fucking just animals in a fucking giant system? Somebody said Vegas is for, for suckers. It's no, bad. literally, do you, you really want to know, Vegas ain't for the weak. That's facts. It's not for the weak. There's so many people come here, man, and they lose their entire fucking life. You can't blame it on the yeah. casino, bro. Yeah. You can't blame it on, no, you had access to that. You had to get drunk enough or whatever. They're not going to cut you off. You're grown. You're of the age 21. That's why you got to be 21 to drink. And they're not going to put a gun in your head and make you put Nobody's your money Nobody's around here forcing you to do anything. Uh, they make it as accommodating as possible. Literally. They're like, hey, you want to, you need a back rub while you gamble more money? I got you, buddy. Oh, God. Bruh. That's crazy, man. That's dangerous, dude. 
There's a lot of like that's where like I feel like Vegas has that like stigma of a lot of fake love. I feel like because people like support you until you it's can over. Move around Vegas if you have a strong mind. Liquor, I get it. I've been there. Liquor can enhance you doing more things than you probably would naturally do. Right. You got to pace yourself. Vegas is a place that you have to pace. When was the last time you had a night where you got too drunk and you like you were throwing up in a random toilet? In Miami, but this was years ago. Really? It's been a while. Bro, I've sat here, I've hit, I've hit big. Hell, shot him a thousand dollar tip. How you? All that shit, bro. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Hey, yeah. The biggest tip you probably got for me was about a thousand bucks. A little more, yeah. A little more, yeah. <laughs> you put my dollars back in gymnastics, I'm blessed for it. Jesus right. Christ. We got, nigga, all we bro. got is each other. Real nigga, bro. Blessings on blessings on blessings. Because you got to think about it. Some crack walk around here. Guess who's going to give me the heads up? Hey, Sharp, get going. You're done. Yeah. Get going, bro. Something's about to crack off. Get going. He you want something nice and fresh? Hand deliver. <laughs> Hand deliver. Let me tell you how quick that shit is. Guys, we live fucking live. Thank you, man. Thank you so much. You stuck. You stuck in the mix now, homie. This is the most awkward. I know. I'm game. between a drink and a fucking uh, I don't know shot. I wish I because I, I, I work here. It sounds like I'm embellishing the company, but it really is the epicenter that I got a chance to work in. No. I have a blessing to be able to create a regular. Why do you Why do you think that guy left earlier? Who? That guy. You're uh, saying that he like he like fucked up his like position here. He like left no the job. Way. 52 years old, part time with young dogs and backers, bro. Anything would piss you off that much. You got money, he don't need to be here. Wow. He don't need to be here at all. He's just, yeah, he's just doing it. Damn, dude. He's doing it to do it. Dude, at 52, I would have fucking killed to keep this job. Hey, homie. I don't work this city hella busy. I don't work this city with nobody, nigga. We could have been the only three people sitting here. I've been through all that, homie. I've, I've, I had to face adversity in this city throughout the years. Not everybody can make it, bro. It's only for the chosen few. I've watched this city, and I promise you, poor God, I've watched people pull up in Bentleys and McLarens, all that shit, right? Three months later, leave on a Greyhound with a shoestring holding their pants. Fuck. This city can beat the best, bro. If you're not mentally like to stay out here, if you don't want to live out here, like it can beat you. You gotta know how to play the game. If you can't play it well, then you know what? Maybe it's it's, it's best for you to move to Hopkinsville, Kentucky. Fuck, bro. Maybe it is best. Stay where you're from, cause it's here for everybody, man. What is like? If you're not coming out here to gamble or he Sharp got his ring back, no, I got a new one. This was 3D. Any. Let's go. Yo, if you're not coming out here to gamble and get drunk, what else is there to do out here? We can make money. It's resources. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, make money as well. It's okay. Resources. Especially with them bringing sports teams here, professional sports teams. It's like teams. the new L.A. It was, well, why it's better. It's like better. That, well, why it's becoming like that is because there was never any professional sports here. Yeah. We're starting to have professional sports. Yeah. Before you know it, we'll have a professional, we'll have a professional yeah, basketball team here. Like we had everything else There's already. No basketball here, why right. they didn't want to do it? Because they felt like people run with this gambling here. So you can go bet on games. They didn't want players to, to no, they didn't want players to be influenced. Yeah. They didn't want players to be influenced around here. People scared like, hey man, blow this game, or we gonna hurt your family. Anything like that, you have to think about it. This Jesus is fucking city. Christ, bro. What the so, fuck? You have to think about the type of extortion that can happen. Jesus. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can get bad, bro. Like, you, you just never know. Bro, I'm scared of the city. That's dude. why they were always scared to bring pro sports to the city. It's a whole wow. different ball game out here. Oh, now they have the Raiders out here. Now it's going to be really yeah, yeah, a little yeah. iffy and shit like that. Oh, damn. Dude. I do. I really do. You okay? Yeah, I'm good. Oh my god. Chilling. We're about to go upstairs now. I'm just yeah, I'm just good. finishing my drink. I'm yeah, yeah. We're at it. No, take your time. Bro, this is the this is the best time of my life, bro. It's a good conversation. It's just, you know, being downstairs, this is where you're gonna see it at. No, facts. Sitting in the room, you're not gonna see shit. Do you like to be observant? Do you like to see different things happen? You gotta be outside. Exactly. Yeah. 
Bro, and this is and this is where and this is where I have to give a huge, huge thank you and shout out to the fucking chat because if it was not for you guys, I wouldn't be able to do shit like this. I would have other things that like take up my time that pre prevent me from doing shit like this. This is interesting. I feel like besides Yuri live streaming this whole little situation right now, this is probably the best time that I've had since I've been here. Also, I have so to say this. I, I just uh, get social anxiety. Like I get to that point where like I want to be like yeah. off the map. I don't know if it's like, I don't know if it's Vel's social anxiety, but one thing I've noticed about Vel the more I've hung out with you is you're very you're like me. You're very to yourself, but you're more to yourself than I am. Like yeah. you're I'm not sure like you're you're, you're not you're not super extroverted like I am. Like yeah. you're like you're like you're, I don't want to talk to people. I don't. I try but you know to avoid, what's funny. Like, you know? But you know what's funny is like as soon as you pull out your IG story, you're the most extroverted person <laughs> on the planet. As soon as you put your IG story away, yeah. that's it. That's why you're chilling. I, that's honestly why I started a YouTube channel oh, because my viewers watch this. Hey, hey. Come on, my <laughs> yes, sir. Bro, I don't even remember what I was saying. How extroverted you are compared to. Other situations, whatever. Yeah. Extroverted. Extroverted. <laughs> Mel is just like very just, chill, I noticed. just low key, bro. I, I mind my business a lot. Bro. And I feel like this is why we get along so well. It's because like we're very, like, very, like, mellow watch people. Out, watch out, watch out. But when I'm on stream, no, no problem. When I'm on stream, I'm like more extroverted, but when I'm like yeah. off stream, like, you know, like, I like to just chill and kick it. That's what I was gonna say. That's why I made a YouTube channel because my stories were so Oh, yeah, there you go. A long time. I had. For probably two or three years, I had people like, so many people like, bro, you should make a YouTube channel. It's just not the same with my Instagram story and the YouTube is it's two completely different worlds in my opinion. You think so? But, yeah, because my Instagram story, whenever like, say this guy fucking starts freaking out, I'm gonna pull out my phone, I'm gonna pull out my phone and go to my Instagram, boom, straight to my story and post it. Yeah. YouTube is more like work. You get me? Like you gotta kind of like put in a little more effort. You know, like That's upload true. a video, I have to record it for my main camera, yeah, then yeah, upload yeah. it. YouTube. It's just too much. So I finally made a YouTube and like, you know, I've been trying to like still get in the groove and shit. Like it's cool, it's cool for sure. Just making me be more like open to like, yeah, you know, be you know more people friendly and shit. I'm very people friendly, but no, you I are. Just have, I just be low key, bro. Even but no jumper, you see what I'm, I, I I can be around every day, but I'm not. No facts. Like I just be on my own shit on my low key shit. Like, hey, but also I have I have to say that like one thing I appreciate about content creators, different content creators, is like. There's people who upload vlogs. There's people who stream. There's people who do Snapchat videos. And there's people who do IG stories. Yeah. Cause I haven't done no like Dan or Life or Sharp type shit. So like this is the first time like you've actually got the capture. Exactly. Like, That's why I'm so appreciative yeah. of the fact that I'm I've getting a kill here. It. Yeah, I've like, never seen it. I don't, it. I don't <laughs> bring this type of shit out on camera. Like the people that I know, the people that I've, like, I've known for years. You know exactly. what I'm saying? Like this is, I saw you, I said, hey man, okay, Yuri, you wanna come out? Yuri hanging out, I see Yuri got the crowd cut, that's cool. Bro. Thank you, man. And also, I'm sure, I'm 100% sure that this ain't the only bar you got history with. You, oh probably, you probably know every single place around here. All right, let's grab the phone, see what the chat was saying. W Sharp facts. W Sharp, W Vel, appreciate you guys so much, man. Uh, bro, we have less than an hour left on stream. I'm super tired. Gary Jenner texted me. He said, "Yo, did you fight?" Uh, um... Oh, sorry about that, man. No, no problem. We'll come over here. So I keep getting in people's way. You're really working right now. Uh, w sharp, facts. W sharp. That's what they're here. No, I'm, I'm calling at a night at 2 a.m., bro. I'm too tired, dude. Uh, I'm talking about the bitch. It uh, was funny as shit, bro. I see a lot 
Fury be fake drunk, bro? Hey, I am not fake drunk. Like split hey, 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 like the fucking stream right now. Hit the like button on the fucking stream. Subscribe to the channel. We outside, nigga. Big Red was cocky motherfucking riders, nigga. Yeah. No, facts. Yo, also, guys, reminder. My stream is gonna die at any moment now. At any, any at any moment. Random, at any moment. We going to my shit. Bro. I was gonna say, if you guys can, yo, if we have any mods in here, um, I see we have, shit, yo, J Rez, if you can, J Rez, please spam the link as many times as possible. Spam the link do for it, how you do a YouTube channel. Link. Hit my motherfucking channel after this, man. Come on. Man. As soon as my fucking shit dies, please go to Vel's channel. He's gonna go live immediately. Oh. My shit's gonna die at any moment now, bro. Any moment it's gonna fucking die. I'm surprised you're still standing. I'm surprised I'm still standing, dude. I got him, dude. Yo, thank you so much, J Rose. I appreciate you, man. Thank you, dude. Oh, there's my, there's my drink right there. Yo, good. Hey, man, I'm ready to stream right now. Oh, you want to stream? After dark was sharp right <laughs> now, man. I'm ready to stream. <laughs> hey, man, what's up to all my people, man? For real, everybody that's in the chat right now, man. We're going to go ahead and we're going to put them up there. We got 1K people still in here at 1 in the morning, bro. That's 1K, crazy. Man. Just everybody who's just chiming in and just talking, man. Just bringing it up. Sharp, to get 1K at 1 in the morning, that's, I've never, I'm, like, that's impossible for me. That's crazy. I appreciate Anybody you so much. Right now, man. Wanna go have a drink, man. Shout out to everyone, man. I thank you guys so much, man. <laughs> I love y'all, man. I got them, nigga. They all right. Trust me. <laughs> they me, man. They good. You feel me? He's with us, what, what if El starts throwing up all over himself right now? Oh. Bell. Bell ain't about to do that. <laughs> I'm just saying, what if? And not you. <laughs> For me, man. Hey. Why hey, no. me? And not you, motherfucker. <laughs> I'm just wondering how you would handle that situation. Man, I'm with your chat, homie. Thank man, you. I swear to you, I feel like I was one of the niggas that ever donated the most to that motherfucker in one night. No, facts. You were. No, that's no cap. That's 100% facts. Real MVP. Thank you, bro. I don't know, I don't fuck with all my people. And I'm the, I'm the most different one out of everybody. No, facts, bro. People always trip out to like, that's what they find like uh, like most interesting about our relationship. I know what you're looking for right now, Bill. Oh, no, should I cover the camera? Find the dog. Cut off the camera. For what? I'm fucking around. That was a joke. That's out of the ordinary, Bill. Oh, man. Out of the ordinary? What is this guy looking for? I know, right? For Vel, everything's in the ordinary. I don't know what what they got stuff for me. I don't know what it might be. Nigga. He sprinkles some shrooms in your mouth. I don't know. What, oh, what the fuck? I'm, I'm kidding, I, dude. No, I don't know. I definitely did not. Put How you lose it, nigga? We ain't even went nowhere. Man, go nowhere. The motherfucker fall? I got it, bro. I got it. I'm like, you gonna find me. I'm gonna get some <laughs> money, cheese. It's all kind of shit going on. <laughs> uh, are we down to head upstairs? Let's get it. You ready? We get a fresh one. Yeah, here we go. Take that with me. All right. No, they said uh, they just subscribed. Let's go! Yeah, I, I, I posted. I posted the dumb. The, I, I'm, oh, sorry. I scheduled the stream, so we're gonna be live. Like, watch out, watch out. No. She was she wobbling. Oh, are you okay? She was wobbling. I thought I know, she was right? gonna tackle you, nigga. I met her earlier. Her name is uh, McCall. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, McCall. Uh, no, no, no. You're gonna embarrass that dude, bro. Hey, McCall. <laughs> Oh my god. Go walk up on her and ask her for names. No, 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 no. You've been moving all night. Go ask her. You might as well. Oh, she did it. McCall? Yeah. Someone's looking for you. Who? He's not, look, he's not happy. Who? He's really upset. Who? 
Stop being so upset. Maca Me? Tell right? McCall to be careful. McCall, look. I got you. <laughs> oh, sh Yo, Sharp. Sharp, I'm sorry. I, was, I trolled the fuck at her. She's scared, dude. We gotta get out of here. <laughs> yes, that was her name. <laughs> Bro, we, I would. I would. <laughs> Yeah, oh, oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, let's head upstairs. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, go ahead. You better smile, am I wrong? You're not wrong, Bill. You looking at me hard, nigga, you better smile. Like, you're not wrong, Bill. Your nigga better smile, hey. hey okay, man. you got it. I'm just, that's what I'm talking about. Let's go. My brother, man, come on. He's not finna get pressed. Hey, man. You're scaring the whole the nigga was The nigga was dogging me, nigga. I told the nigga, you better smile when you're looking at me, my nigga. Don't oh, look at me mean, nigga, because I'm mean. Nigga, you better smile, nigga, when you're looking at me. Am I wrong? No, no, you're right. Come on, man. You're so, right, man. You feel me? Come on, man. I know I'm not tripping. Bell. It's love, peace, and chicken grease. If you, if, you, if you looked at me randomly, as a random person, I would not scrunch my eyebrows at you. It's because of whatever you did, though. That's why he was looking at us. Like no, that. you so got. That's why I said, nigga, you better smile, nigga. Did you hear? Don't look what? over here like that. Did buddy. you hear what I said to no, her? No, I did not. <laughs> I forgot her name. I was like, oh, I man. forgot what her name was, but I was like, hey, I was like, I was like, there's some people looking for you. You should be very scared right now. You told her that. Yes. I see, I, now I feel bad for pressing no, I, her nigga. I was being a troll. He should be, he should be mad. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. I was being a weird troll. I feel bad. I'm sorry. But also, no, yeah, whatever. That guy's an idiot, dude. I'm just saying, my nigga. Bell, no. if he attacks you, I will I will poke his eyeballs out. Please, I gouge that nigga. Yeah, I will, I will guide, gouge his eyes out for you. That is um, so funny. Yeah, that was very random. I know the chat's gonna feel what I'm where I'm coming from though. For sure. I'm trying to get to the comments. Right <laughs> See what they're saying. Oh shit. Oh no. She's talking to him right now. Oh I, I set a bad precedent. I set a very bad precedent. I feel oh, bad. I, this is my fault. This is literally my fault. You're good. Oh no, she's she's laughing. She's laughing at him. She's nice now. Okay, now she's actually like Sharp is like rizzing her up. She's chilling. Hey, oh my mama though, I know the chat. I, hey, one thing that I am not, I, I'm not a bully ass nigga. You feel me? Like, but you're not. One thing you're not gonna do is look at my me or anybody I'm with or any type of animosity, nigga. Because if you look, if it's animosity. It's animosity. I'm on what you on, you feel me? <laughs> oh, shit. So if you look at me dogging me, nigga, I'm tripping. If you look at me smiling, it's all good, bro. Oh my god. You was looking at me crazy, Yuri. No. All I told him was that you better smile, my nigga. <laughs> you better smile, bro. If I was you, I would smile right now. No, I, I've learned a lot from I you. I smile too. I smiled at him like. No, no. He was just like, I'm bro. Like, hey, bro. <laughs> for, for anyone out there that thinks hey. Bell is like unnecessarily mean, I've I've learned, I've learned a lot. From, you're the nicest guy on earth. You're nice as fuck. You're bro. the nicest guy on earth. When niggas, when niggas bring that energy, bro, I'm matching. No, nigga. facts. But plus some, you feel me, like nigga. I've, I've better, learned, a, I've learned a lot from you, and it's mostly about respect. respect it's like, it's like if you, look at me if you crazy, even disrespect nigga. me a little bit, tripping, it's over. I'm it's over. It's, it's gone. I'm, Cause I respect niggas. If I don't know you, nigga, yeah. me being the person that I am, knowing that I can do what I can do, I'ma still respect you, nigga. I don't give a fuck what you are, how you can be gay, straight, purple, <laughs> pink. I don't care. I'ma respect you, bro. No facts. You feel me? And, and you, respect, you're, you're that way. No facts. And, and the way he was looking at us right now, that was disrespect, my nigga. That's why I told him. You better smile. I wasn't like, nigga, what you looking at, bitch ass nigga? I'm like, you could have hey, you, you done that easily. Easy, bro. But yeah. I'm like, hey, smile, bro. Smile. That's bro. way different than what the fuck are you looking at. <laughs> hey, bro, smile right no, now, facts. bro. I'm telling you. That's all I want. She keeps, she keeps smiling at you. <laughs> yeah, hello. <laughs> she's scared what? of you. Dude. No, the lady that just walked by. Oh, you see, no, sir. <laughs> she's like smirking and smiling at you. Hello. <laughs> 
Oh my god, bro. <laughs> Those girls in that group of men are now walking this way. I'm surprised my phone is still, I mean my GoPro is still alive, dude. This is insane. Wait, actually, let me make sure. Okay, you got it? You got my phone? I got your phone. All right. I gotta make sure. Something happened again, dude. <laughs> All right, I gotta find my uh, my key card. <clears throat> Riley gave my key card back, right? Yep. No, but still. Could you hold this for one second, please? Thank you. Bro. Wait, I don't have a fucking card, dude. I had my card. Wait, hold on. It might be my. No, I don't have my fucking card, dude. Oh wait, no, I do, I do, I do, I do, I do, I do. All right. You're still on. I'm not a bully. I heard Vel ask him that same question like three times. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't think that man's ever gotten pressed like that ever in his life, bro. That was like the first. Man, what the fuck up, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Oh, shit. Hey, good to see you again. Hey, man, what's your ass? Oh, my gosh. What up, man? What's going on around here? Hey, I have a question. Oh, wait, how? I just noticed how someone's asleep right here. Hey, bro. So what? Wait. That's over here, bro. Hey, bro, nigga, what are you doing? That's not my phone. I got your phone. I got your phone. I was like, hey, bro. I know I'm an idiot. I just realized. Hey, <laughs> hey, 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 what did you say to your girlfriend? He was not happy, bro. I came up to this girl and I was like, so guys, I came up to this girl and what did you say to her? I said, uh, Sharp told me her name. And I was like, oh, he knew her name. and I was like, yo, is this your name? She's like, yeah, that is my name. And I was like, because Sharp told me. And I was like, oh. and I just told her, I know this is very weird. Don't judge me. I knew her name. I was like, hey, was this your name? She's like, yeah. I was like, there's some men looking for you. Run. I was like, be careful. <laughs> <laughs> and I reg I regret saying it because I was trying to be a troll, but she got freaked out, and then Bell was looking at her and her boyfriend, and then it became this. It became this whole thing. I feel bad. Wait, I wish. That, wait, chat. Can you guys tell me what the fuck I said? I don't remember what I said. I what did I say, guys? Fuck, we got going on. Oh yeah, I'm good. I'm just trying to remember what I said to that dude. To told me the girl's name. I came up to the girl's. <laughs> See, you won't even know what happened. He wasn't tripping off her. He wasn't tripping off him. I was fine. I was from acting like no, he's bleeding, my he nigga. He ain't got to trip it off. <laughs> my mama, nigga. I'm like, hey, this nigga pressed him, bro. Like, Bell was like, nigga, you better smile. I just want to smile. I didn't press him. Bell was like, you better smile right now. About you better. What? He's like, you better. The nigga was dogging me. You better smile right now, nigga. He was still dogging me. Smile, bro. Hey, my nigga. Smile, bro. Bell hey, said, Bell said that like three times. Like, you better smell right now, or else. What's up? Wait, hold on. Thirty days. Thirty days. Thirty days. Bro, that'd be 
afraid to be sharp. He's me for 30 days. No Riley either. <laughs> 30 days. Hey. That's 30 funny. days and see what you what you come back like the new knowledge that you have. Just uh, Bro, this is way better. Man. This is way better than that ice inside and shit. <laughs> you come live with oh, 30 days. Fuck us. Right? You're you gonna come back with some actual knowledge, bro. Well, Sharp. He's gonna be checking. 30 days. We'll at least do two weeks. We'll do 14 I, days. I do do I, one I, week I at least. Wait, hold on. We'll do 14 I, I, days of you living with me. I don't want people to think that like I'm ungrateful for this opportunity that I'm given. Beyond grateful. Scared. I, I, I would. I would be. No, I'm you're fucking scared. Yes, I'm. You know scared. why you're scared? Because you don't know what you'll become in the mix. No, of shit. no. Because oh, that's what it is. Because, <laughs> you're afraid that I might break you out. Oh, no, no. That you think that you've had this fucking like, exterior armor on. I right? was in Vegas for three I'll days, you, bro. and my relationship almost fell apart. You think that we're about to go outside all the time? No, no, no. Business moves. I'm gonna show you. That is my fault. We will get outside, but I'm gonna show you how we make business moves behind the scenes, right? And then we bring them to the forefront. I'll show you something different, bro. Sharp. I'll show you something different. I would I would love to spend a month in Vegas with you. I won't turn you out, motherfucker. I'm gonna turn you on. Wait, come on. I'll turn Pause. you on. No, no, I'm talking about turn you on to what life really has to offer out this motherfucker. Thank you. I'll show you. See, people to turn you out would be something positive, right? Yeah. yeah. I want to turn you on. Turn you on to something different. No. Turn you on to something that can make probably some different moves outside of LA for you. You're honestly, dude, what you're saying right now is 100% facts. Because I, I, like, I have to say this, guys. My three what days. What you're doing, church? What's that? Oh, wait. Oh, uh, my three days here in Vegas Whoa. with, bad, with Bucks, okay. Sharp, and everyone else, guys, I've had like a spiritual. I'm going to turn you on to some game. Where I'm like, I'm like, bro. In, in LA, everybody gotta get turned on. In LA, really? it's either like, bro, Stop getting turned on. I, I don't know. It's, it's fucking trippy out here, bro. It's very, very different than Los Angeles. I'm not used to it at all. And bro, also, this shit, this shit is all love, bro. It like, is all love, but it's it's, it's completely different in Los Angeles. It's not. It's not. I'm the same saying, nigga, I I wouldn't be doing this in LA. I wouldn't be walking around at LA Live on live with Yuri. Like, yeah, bro, we right here in front of fucking exactly. yeah, that's house. Nigga passed out going to mansion parties. Like, niggas don't even know. Like, they're waking him up, and the gang wakes him up when he comes through there. Homie, I moved different. Like, we just no, we moved different. Nigga, we he was out. We was 550, nigga. We was sitting back with seats hugging him. Nigga, talk about man, man sharp. What the fuck going on? Hey, every, <laughs> every time, every time no, you treat a nigga right, nigga, this shit massaging you. Like, yo, ass me, that yo, back talk that dumb shit. Hey, everybody was gonna talk that dumb shit out, homie. I've been on, bro. I've been moving. Like, I've been moving, bro. Listen, they say what they want, bro. Do you ever come do some blow with me? They ever offer you any blow? Never. They always say I'm a cokehead. I don't like that shit, bro. Like, why? I don't even think you would even, like, look at me the same. If you seen me, you're like, dude. Nigga, like, you wouldn't like, know what me and you can do without all of it. Yeah. What are you talking about, bro? I'm not done. We're ending the stream in 36 minutes, by the way. was outside for less than a couple hours, bro. I had a, good, I had a great time, bro. Nigga, we went, we went to the party. We went to a mansion party. I would Last never, hour. I would never go to no mansion parties so in LA. He walks in. Really? Really? If so Travis he, Scott invited me, I'm not going, bro. Nigga, so compared to he, Vegas, so as he walks in, pop, it's love. pop it's got, awesome. pop got smoked at a fucking pop, mansion bro. party you in know, LA. Nigga. Hey, but look, when he walks in, it's no pop. It's just popping. <laughs> oh God, nigga, it's just popping when he oh, walks bro. in. Niggas know who he is. They're showing love. Rest in peace, like, okay, man, rest in, No, and that's what I'm saying. Rest in peace, Pop Smoke. smoke. Nigga, I'm not going to a mansion party in LA. I don't do that, bro. I'm a grown ass fan, bro. I know better. I'm not going to no. put us in a fucked up position. That's what I'm even saying. Even having you downstairs, homie, we're just even fucking with bartenders. Let's be real. Like, nigga, and us just having drinks, bro. He's giving us all. He's going to have us get a $450 shot apiece. King Louis Louis and also, of King Louis the Thirteenth. And also, if Sharp wasn't there, that bartender would have told me to fuck yeah. off and get the fuck out. Yeah, there. with all, the, with all the cameras, for sure. All the cameras, for sure. He would have, he would have told me to fuck off. Yeah, yeah right. Right. That's really I'm not gonna lie. If it was not for Sharp, that bartender would not be fucking with me at all. <laughs> hey, this nigga Yuri the police. Bro. Literally. What? Fuck. What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga Sharp with tower rings from now on. That nigga been streaming a nigga for a 70 hours. Look at that. 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 Look at that.
What's up? I haven't slept with you last night. I'm sorry, dude. What you doing? Did you brush your teeth yet? Did you brush your teeth yet? He's like, hey. He's like, hey, are the same monsters you had on last night? You sleep in those? Did you change yet? Bro. Buy those socks with the free journey there, bud. Oh, God. You're a cop. Bro, I'm not. I'm a live streamer, dude. Also, you're under arrest. No, I'm joking. Alright, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. I'll be back in a second. Guys, uh... Dude, I feel bad doing this. Okay, whatever. Just move the Go to how you do YouTube channel right now. We're gonna end the stream right now. How you do it? We lie. We are live already. Wait, we already live? We lie. Let's go right now, guys. Transfer over. We live. Transfer hey. to to Bell's YouTube channel. Niggas know what's going on. My backpack's in the police now too, bro. I know for real. FYI, uh, my backpack's hey. gonna die any any second. Please, 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 spam the link, Scotty. Yo, spam it like. 50 times. Make, make every comment, uh, Bell's link. Guys, go to Bell's, uh, channel right now. Start the stream. In one second. And then go to Bell's. Let's go. Oh boy. Yeah. Kaka, kaka. Oops, oops, oops. I definitely ain't sleeping no time. Where's my tripod? Xbox, okay. I have, uh, the bottom piece of a tripod if you need that. Oh, no, no, no. Oh. I need the whole piece to the tripod. Oh. <laughs> Not just the bottom, my boy. Yeah. Hey, I don't need a bitch to bitch, man. The only thing I need. Hey, you got the tripod? Yeah. Well, I gotta get the door real quick. Hey, one nigga expanded to see what it is. Convert over here, it's on my hands. Oh, that's the Oh, that's the appraiser. 30 piece. <laughs> 30 ball. What you gonna do for the 30 ball? What you gonna do to the dude for the 30 ball? Yeah, yeah, it's Yuri knocking on Riley's door. Sit my neighbor. door. What, trying to get in there? Listen, bro. You, look, you talking some whole other, other language, my brother. Yeah. How you fucking do it? All you bitch ass niggas better like the stream right hey, now. Hey, nigga. you heard me, bro? Well, you talking some whole like other language, bro. Like this shit. Why fucking I took over, nigga. Uh, That's what I paid for. What? 14. Look at this shit. That's exactly This nigga house on beating crazy. my ass, or this nigga's a cheater. Oh, so that, nah, I'm just this nigga push, he the nigga that push any buttons. Oh, nah, I just, know what I'm doing. Nah, bro. Nigga, I've been playing this game for so long, bro. The nigga's a cheater. The nigga's a cheater, bro. He picked the shittiest nigga and still buckled my shit. It, it just doesn't make sense. I'm about to buckle this nigga shit. Look, look, look. Buckle it. Which one are you? I'm the black nigga. You the nigga? Oh, oh. Nigga <laughs> What he put you to bed? Oh my god! He said, "I'm the black nigga." Buckle, nigga. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, he slept my shit. I'm the black nigga. Get go to sleep. Yep. Nah, he slept my shit for sure. How, how do you feel about that? I'm about to hit the restart. Don't trip. Look, come on. <laughs> don't worry about nothing. Hey. Don't worry about nothing. Don't worry about nothing. Hey, just know I'm the black nigga. It, hey, just know you don't want it, though. bro. If you give me a hey, week. Sheesh. I didn't even. I you could. Even. You could. Let's do it. Bro, be smarter than the room, bro. You got I'm this. Yeah, yeah. Right. This nigga said I'm a black nigga. Bucka, nigga, sleep. Bro, as soon as I say that, I'm like, <laughs> yeah, that's me right that's there. That's me. <laughs> Go to <Wow>. sleep, nigga. <laughs> Bro, that's you, man. You a nigga that just went to bed, nigga, night night. Yeah. Hey, I don't need a dish to be the only thing I need. Guys, guys, guys. We were taking twenty dollars shots tonight. I need one of my mods to Bro, put that shit in the chat. It don't man. matter, man. Nigga, I'm trying to get some un, some un. Hey, Vale, what's wrong, Ryder? What's this, Vale? You're making me do this right here. Vale, what the fuck, what is this? Where we on? We on how you do it, nigga. It's my channel, man. How you do it? You, you I, man, the sweaters. Right? The shirts, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, sweaters too? I think you did sweaters too. I did one for my daughter. That's she the only one I got a sweater. You did post a picture of my daughter. So I saw the only you one I got. Yeah. I did see you do the sweater. I did one. I did one. And you posted it. I did. Okay, so I ain't crazy. Yeah, no, 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 no. I definitely uh, posted it. Yeah, Maybe yeah. sound fucking crazy. Nah, shit, bro. nah, you good. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, Look, man. man. TB White. Okay, cool. Look, how you motherfucking? I need to get my Look. shit worried. Look, they be saying how sharp TB yellow. I be like, man, what nah, you mean? These are all mine. 
They gonna find anything. They gonna say you don't it's smell good. Nigga smell amazing. Nigga, I'm like, what are you wearing? Carolina bro? Herrera. Bro, I need it. You gotta text me the, the yeah. link. Man. Carolina Herrera, <laughs> man. Girl. Shit, man. Come oh, on, God. man. I've been on the Gucci for a minute now. Sharp got some I mean, shit the Chanel, up his nose. Been, Let's see. I've been on the Chanel for You know a what that minute. is right there, right? Arm, bro. What's that Break right this there? Nigga arm. Yeah, bitch ass nigga. What that is? Nose ring, nigga. No drink, nigga. That was almost some sugar booger. No, but I'm saying because I think they be seeing like the little, uh, the little bottom, the little, like the little yeah. barbell, in my nose. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> niggas is tweaking up. <laughs> that should be crazy as hey. fuck, bro. You niggas, you just mad because I'll probably move your bitch, Ooh. and I get it. I understand it. Hey, I understand it. If they had one, if. They yeah. had one. Maybe they I sister. Would, so. Probably hey, moved. Hey, sure, or they sure, sister sure. for sure. They yeah, mama. For sure. The mama. Hey, mama. I moved mom. Show him the, show him the, take a show him the iPod case. Oh, what? The bait joint? Come on, man. Let's see. Cold. Cold game. Yeah, when the bait joint. The babe iPod case, uh, uh, AirPod case is crazy. Yeah, this is 150, church. That shit cheap. But I'm just saying, it just look cold, bro. It do look cold. It's, it's cold. cold. Bro. No, it don't you matter. Know, I know this about babe. I don't even buy a lot of babe, right? I bought yeah, my like, bitch babe, all that they shit. Got, they got good babe, essentials, though. There's yeah. nothing that you're buying from like, babe uh, under 100 bucks. No, 1,000%. There's nothing. Like, nothing. Not even a keychain. Mm-hmm. Nigga, this motherfucker's 150. No, I no, bought no. a bucket hat from him for 200. Yeah, easy. Oh, all of a sudden. Wait, hold on. Where the fuck did Vel go? Dude, I got this. Go. Let's go. Yo, Vel's live right now. Guys, join his phone. Oh, my, my phone just died. God. Bruh. Man, I got Vel shit, nigga. Let's go. Oh, I'm so I got Vel shit. What you doing, man? Come on. You want to smoke? Uh, yes, I'm down. Come smoke, nigga. But hold on. Uh, I'll you come ain't doing that. Yeah, come on. Riley's knocked the fuck out. Hey, so whenever you want that shit, you hear me? I, I have got, all dirty, dog. Hey, no, you good, bro. Hey, I got nothing but diamonds for you, church. Oh you God, be all right. He's putting me in this fucking arm guard, bro. Get the fuck off you, bitch. Ooh, ooh. My bad, my bad, my bad. Ooh. You got to keep the dog hella crazy. I'm trying to get no fights on the top floor. Let's see if I can turn this around for y'all. What y'all think? Now I kind of grew up like right up over there behind the motherfucking uh, the Rio. I remember, nigga. Yeah, man, we on the after hours joint. I took Bell phone. I got Bell shit. Sharp got this shit, man. You know, they do the water shows down there, man. Y'all notice how y'all see like the uh, the like the lighter spots? That's the fucking um, that's like the pumps. You see all like you see all like the circles and everything, like the water yeah. pushing up yeah. right there. That's like that's the show itself. Yeah. Oh, like I'm saying so. Yeah, that's the shit that comes up out oh, of it. So yeah, 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 I see. You don't you won't really see it unless you up high. Bro, we at the highest point that you can hey, be up at. Hey, I got your shit. I told him I hijacked it. We well, so used to not cool be allowed it. in the building, nigga. We got five forty six. Damn. Hey, We're like the stream. Hit the like button, please. We're at 546. Subscribe right. to the motherfucking channel. You niggas know what the fuck is going they know on. I hijacked your Subscribe. Shit, so they're, they're in it. It's right a now. sharp takeover, my nigga. Subscribe. <laughs> you feel me? Listen here, bitch. The sharpest, <laughs> coolest podcast in the motherfucking world. We doing the takeover live from Las Vegas. You dig. <laughs> and the truth needs no motherfucking support. They all done walked off from it, man. Shit, I got this motherfucker now, nigga. Yeah, Bro. call Dago for this one. Listen here, bitch. I got the Eiffel Tower ring right across from the Eiffel Tower, bitch. Y'all see the uh, Eiffel Tower right there? With the hey, Eiffel you Tower, see the Eiffel man. Tower right there. Yeah, you see the Eiffel Tower right there, man. But then you see the Eiffel Tower. You did. Been doing this shit, man. Having things before I was eating chicken wings. You dig? Yeah. I took over this motherfucker, homie. I got it now. Man, I used to walk all this shit right here, nigga. Heart of the blade right there, because I start right from 
Planet Hollywood. It's right about around this building right here. I'll start from the Planet Hollywood and I'll walk it all the way the fuck up. Walk it all the way the fuck up, man. Walk it down there by that Venetian. Know something, man. Trust me. You can bag me for one, nigga. Hey, man, go ahead. Church shit, she was never mine. Niggas fail to realize that. Looking at this shit for years. Y'all ain't never, man. Some of y'all ain't never even been past the Trump Tower right there. This one right here by my finger at the top. Y'all ain't never even been past that. What's your advice for Sharp? What's your advice for keeping for dating and keeping it a 10? I'll tell you this, homie. Just be who you are so that way the bitch know what she's getting. You ain't gotta sit there and change up on her in the end. See, that's the problem. Everybody always trying to do the real shit in the honeymoon phase. Man, show the bitch who you is from the beginning. That way you ain't gotta have no fucking problems. I love Kevin Samuels, man, for real. I'll take the reins, nigga. I'm here for it. I'm going to fight for it. You know, that was the only interview I never got to get. We appreciate the 550, man, for real. Uh, Fast C, I'll see you, man. Y'all don't know what this shit be like, man. Children at play. Children, man. Do y'all know how much really go on down there, man? It look good from up here, man, but when you get down there, that shit real dirty. That shit real dirty, man. Motherfucker come out to Vegas just to hang out and have fun. Yes, yeah, it's, it's to have some fun, but when you step outside, man, through the nitty gritty, you step outside on a night that it's not popping, you will learn exactly what the fuck this city is and maybe who the fuck you are. Sharp quit fronting, huh? Nigga, come challenge my game then. Come challenge it, nigga. And check traps out of every one of these motherfucking casinos, nigga. Fuck you mean. Boy, you better get your fucking weather together, nigga. You wouldn't even be able to survive out here. A lot of y'all talk, nigga, from behind a camera. Or from behind a text or a chat. I get it. I understand it, bruh. I didn't before, but I get it now. It's all you got. Could you step outside and rang King? Probably not. I mean, like, niggas is on that, but niggas is, like, out here, niggas is getting bro, money, too. You know what trips me up the most? We was on Melrose every single day, bro. Shit was so sweet. Nah, you know, it wasn't sweet. It was, what? Nothing ever crazy happened when we was every day. When we moved, uh, it, it, like, it became dramatically yeah. fucking But took listen, the it's just no, like, it like the dramatically, bitch. bro. Like, if we would have started to shoot out some bell rolls, nigga, like, what? But nah, y'all, bro. Pop his shit. Bro, bro y'all had to over shoes. Wait, literally. listen, this is what I'm telling y'all is that, bro, nigga. I think it was 2011. We was going. We was going to Supreme Drops and following niggas back to their cars and all shit like that. No, bro. that's facts. I had a. Man, you told me something like that, bro. Nigga, I, come on, man. I had a couple. Nigga. I had a couple of like white rich homies who told me that they got robbed on Melrose. Like, <laughs> nigga, I got robbed over there too. <laughs> back you in the day. <laughs> nigga, I got. I, I've nigga been said the they gonna fall. Nigga, that bitch ass nigga right there. Somebody <laughs> said nigga, sharp. Gonna, Somebody said, Sharp, how do I stop thinking about the old bitch? By getting you a new one, dumb dumb. Duh, that's like a no-brainer, nigga. Come on. Man, by getting you a new one. Nigga. Bro, the whole idea of like, you know, there's like, oh, there's the one that's meant for you. That's, uh -oh. that's not true. You feel like Re Riley's meant for you? <laughs> <laughs> I do. Hold, hold on, church. Hold on. Hey, Bill, Bill, hold on. <laughs> Bill, I got a real question no, for you. No, 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 do you I, feel I, like, Riley, if you know this, do you feel like Riley's the one for you? I honestly do because the fact that we spent three years together and she's able to deal with like my 
Nigga, y'all so just getting to know each other, bro. Like, y'all just, just getting to know what it really. With her shit. All I'm saying is like, bro, when I was young, they're not dealing with I used to think that. Like, <laughs> whoa, 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 let me land, let me land, though. Because when I was younger, I used to think that, like, bro, I used to really think that there was, like, the one person that was meant for you, and if you fuck that up, it's over. You're going to be a depressed, low key, 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 but with, for you. It's, but, about, it's about working to but and with, building But together. with Riley and I, I've never met someone in my life that we've both understood each other so well that we want to make things work so hard. You know what I mean? How about, hey, okay, that is that's, beautiful. That's the thing that but really what if y'all But what if y'all met? No, listen, hold on. But what if y'all met and started to figure out that y'all really aren't really for each other and that y'all just on borrowed time? And that's a conversation that has to be had and like in, in some sort of, uh, you know, in your relationship at some point, which is like, hey, these are my values and this is what you value, right? Like when Riley and I first got together, I was super anti-kid. I was like, I was like, bro, I'm good. I don't want no, I don't want any kids, right? You don't want no mini me. But then do you Riley, feel like, do you feel Riley like you've me, grown as a person I've, since you've met her? I've definitely grown as a person. And also Riley explained to me like, you know, like her values in life is to have children. So she's like, bro, just, and she told me, she's like, she's like, I'm not going to be with oh you God, forever bro, up, if you don't want to have children in the future. I'm like, that's fair. And I'm not saying I'm changed my perspective because of her, but also it's like these little fucking gives and takes where I'm like, I'm like, I, now I do understand. Like how I would want to have a kid. Right. And I do understand how I don't want no random girls like touching my hips. You know what I mean? Like, and I don't want no random dudes touching Riley's hips. You know what I mean? Wait, like, wait, shit wait, like wait. that. It's what like, do you mean? You know, what do you mean touching? Wait, what? Like, I'm just saying like, you know, like, shit I'm the, sorry. I stopped. I stopped I'm just talking about like shit on the boulevard that happens. Like some fucking random cowboy guy with pierced nipples. Like you've up, been noted. You've been you know, like, talking about cowboys a lot tonight. We're talking about cowboys a lot thing. tonight, Yuri. You don't have a thing for cowboys. I don't have a thing for cowboys. Yeah, yeah. Look, Sharp. Look, look up this thing called Ram Ranch, and that's that's what uh, <laughs> that's the type of shit Yuri's on. Oh, Let me know don't look up Ram Ranch, whatever you do. I'm Let me know if I'm you. tripping, but cowboys is a, it's a thing in Vegas. Okay, wait, wait. Am what, I tripping? What, what was you talking about? We're on sharp vision right now. <laughs> so I'm like kind of moving it as I'm looking at it, and I'm like, Bro, do, do hey, you feel hey, like, look, hey, look, honestly, look, 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 look. I got to ask you a question, bro, okay, for the me, chat. Look. Okay. Do you feel like oh, you and Raleigh are on borrowed time, or do you feel like this is something that actually can work for the next 10 years? I feel like that I've been the single guy for a long time before Riley. Nigga, and for I, your whole life. What do you mean? Made that you life. And I feel like that with Riley, oh, no, I, that I you really good, do have the feeling that, like, bro, like, dude, like, bro. The shit that I like, people don't like hearing this shit because they feel like I'm like some white guy who hasn't gone through anything. We're here, life. bro. We're here. Bro, I've gone through some serious shit in my life and I know yeah. how short life is and I know how like yeah. non serious life can be and like how serious people can take it and how quickly it can be over. And then everything you cared about is fucking yeah, gone in the dust matter, within yeah. two seconds, right? Yeah. That's some real shit, my brother. Riley is like the only person in my life that I'm like, I'm like, I'm willing to fucking make super crazy compromises in order to make this relationship work. You know what I mean? And she probably feels the same way. Which is like, I've never met anyone in my life like that, and that's why I'm like, I treasure that relationship. You know what I mean? Like, I've been a single guy for a long time. I've never met any girl in my life that I was like, I'm willing to not fucking stream today because I care about you this much. No, I've never had that. Riley's the only person that I've met that, like, she understands my perspective and I understand her perspective. Yes, we can conflict and get in arguments, yeah. but that's like any person. Or Hoss, Phone, and I are really good friends. We argue as well. Yeah, you know what I mean? It's just like shit like that. I I kill a nigga for my nigga Yuri, bro. But I also I also will call him a dumbass bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, 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 I'm asking you, as as a real one, do you feel like you and Raleigh may be on borrowed time? I don't think so. I think that maybe this is just my perspective right now because I've uh, this is the relationship I'm in right now. But how about when you're not intoxicated and you guys wake up tomorrow? How do you guys feel about each other? That's when I. That's when it really hits me. Is when I'm intoxicated. <laughs> that's when I have this like ballsy, like I don't care, dude. I can yeah. be single, whatever, blah blah. And then when I wake up in the morning sober, I'm like, You're like, oh baby, like, I love you so I'm much. Like, yeah, exactly. I'm like, thank God you're still with me, dude. I'm like, bro, I'm a fucking loser, bro. How long? But I'm, 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 so I'm gonna ask you this. How long? Hey, is, you're a real nigga for admitting that, though. I'm not gonna lie to you. But I'm gonna ask you this. How long as people do we take advantage of each other for that? And that's to know, right? Like if we if we really like kind of look at it in a relationship and yeah. just like how long do we how many nights do we 
put our significant other through something. And I'm not just saying like you, like it could be on you as well. No, facts. And we put our, our significant other through something. And it's like, hey, I'm sorry in the morning, babe. Like, exactly. I'm sorry I did that. How Every long, time. how long, right. Yeah. But Bill, how long do we accept that? Exactly. But, so, but whether it's, it's both, whether it's both, but how, is that really healthy? Nope. Or are we, definitely not. Or are we in something that we would call a traumatic bond? A traumatic bond. Well, life Trauma is a, bond. Life is a right? traumatic thing, bro. It's like, life bro, it's, it's like we think that we're like we're living in this futuristic Yo, I got age. your shit ran up right we're, now. We're bro. living in this futuristic age nine. where everyone like has food oh, and, and shelter. Four, six, and all this nine stuff. And like, bro, hey. Everyone's life before ours has been super traumatic. Yeah. Rape, drugs, fucking homelessness, fucking leaving the 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 house at like the age of twelve. Like all of our lives have been filled with this shit. Now in the future we're like getting like oh like oh now you should treat everyone with respect and never yeah, everyone, never bully anyone. Everyone wants to be like, all like exactly uh, like nigga. <laughs> I I I feel you on that though because nigga, shit shit was not sweet like for anyone for anybody. Imagine asking, then, imagine, imagine asking any of our dads. The shit they went oh through. Oh my god. Compared to but, what, what, but that's life, right? Bruh. Yeah, like, but like we're gonna go through as stuff. People, as people hopefully we keep progressing to the point to where it's like, okay, we're not gonna deal with the same shit that our parents dealt with. Exactly. Or that, you know what I'm saying? Like I would it's supposed to be progressing, you know? No facts. But also it's like I wouldn't want my son or daughter dealing with the same shit. Oh, I, now you just he, dealing he with just the same didn't want kids two seconds ago. Well, now he's talking about his son or his daughter. Well, I wouldn't want them going through the same shit I dealt with as a kid. But also, I would not be in this perspective as a as a young man to make the decisions I am able to make without being put in those positions of like, here's the good, here's the negative, and here's what I want, and here's what I think I want, and then here's what people think are popular. You know, shit like hey, that. Hey, hey, guys. Let's make go. Sure, make sure you guys Wait, like the stream. Phone. Make sure you guys subscribe to the stream. Make sure you guys... Donate if you can, you feel me? We lit, we out here, we having a great time. It's late as fuck. I'm having a terrible time. He's getting his ass whooped by the computer. No, okay. look, I'm having a terrible time. Sharp, they won't take take the fucking camera off me. I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna tell you this. Like people can say like, <laughs> they got don't Sharp take Sharp's a- advice, but I've dealt with women and in certain situations probably more than anybody because I've had to accept certain things, right? Like I didn't live and live regular, I didn't live normal. So I, I, I sit back and I listen to like certain situations and I start to say like, do men start to consider themselves as on a borrowed time with a woman versus something that's actually gonna make you better in the long run? It's not about money, yeah. it's not about, yeah. fuck money. <laughs> you could be rich and it can be zero dollars in the mix like if a woman makes you feel like you're rich in the way that you're moving that's excellent but if you're starting to have problems in a sense of we're bickering over bills and or not even like it can be over anything because i've always noticed that you know the things that you could love about a person in the beginning and the end you can start to hate you can start to resent right and i think that comes from spending entirely too much time around a person. You think you I've learned that. I've had some of the best situations. But you can't avoid better. that. Oh, bad. You can't even avoid that. No, man. that's why people have jobs. Yeah. It's because people yeah, go to people, y'all niggas, people, y'all niggas were working together. People go to work, right? People, shit, they're going to work together and going home together. That's that, shit, that's so. gotta be something a little bit different. Like, listen, I'm not gonna lie. My last situation, nigga, I, I spent... 98% of the time at her house. But guess what? My house was right down the street. So when we got into it too bad. It's okay. Listen. I'm at my own crib. I, yeah. th- I think what I'm trying to say is this in this situation. I'm on Vail's stream right now. Like, Vail shit's going up. Let's go. What, what, what I'm trying to say is um, I think it's a great idea for people to spend time away from each other because when you spend time away from each other, you'll really figure out how much you probably love the person exactly. or you miss the person. Yeah. No, how no. do you miss somebody that you're always around? Exactly. You can't. And you also, can't. And I think it's the little things, like things that didn't bother you before in the beginning will no, start to bother you more in the end because you're constantly around it. You're exactly. constantly dealing with it. It's okay to take a hard reset and take a break. 
yeah. in the relationship just to kind of see yeah. if the things that you were thinking, you know, um, you you were thinking or Riley was thinking like, hey, let me see if the grass is greener on the other side. Stuff Sometimes like it mm. you owe it to each other. Exactly. You owe it to you each other, to man. To go like, fucking stay with Shark for a month. Oh my god. Get your motherfucking way. Like, no, Sean's speaking, speaking Get your motherfucking He's speaking way 100% again. Facts right I'm just trying like, to be real, like, like transparent. No, not just transparent. It's like normal shit that, like, I feel yeah. like anyone that gets into those shoes are going to experience what you're talking about right now, which is like, um, when you spend enough, like, bro, I remember when Riley was working uh, full time at No Jumper, right? She would come home from work, and I would be like, Babe, I love you. I miss you. You know, like all that stuff. Now oh. that we don't have that thing where she's away for five, six, five to six hours, yeah. now that we're I'm all together all day, every day, God, we don't have that moment anymore. It's not, not to say that we love each other less or whatever, but we don't have that moment anymore every day, which is that, babe, wow. I miss you. I love you. It's like I haven't seen you all day. Now we don't have that. Y'all don't have that anymore. Exactly. And the only what thing could I'm, you do to change that? A job. Like you said, it's like a thing that a thing that no, a thing that separates you two from each other. It's like weird, bro. It's like it's weird because you want to spend as much time time as you want with your loved ones, but the thing that makes you appreciate your parents more is like, oh, yeah, not I can't yeah. hang out with my parents every day. I can only hang out with them on the weekends when I'm not working at my job. Yeah. When they're yeah. they're not working their job, it's so, like you're like yeah, okay, we can we can line up our schedules now. You know what I mean? Like shit like that. It's like. And that's the interesting part about life is like fucking just like appreciating time more that's than every, right. anything, but then also making time to make money so they can make more time. It's like, bro, it's like a weird balance between uh, shit, right? No you ever feel that trap where it's like you're trying to make more money oh, what, oh, so you can yeah. spend, spend more time doing what you want, but then you're sacrificing say, what time, what time y'all, special what time, y'all time to make more but what, money. But I'm going to ask you this, Yuri. What if you're I with a person that, and I'm not... I'm, just asking you in general. Yeah. What if you're with a, a person that right, might right, not understand that and you may surpass them in that knowledge okay, so of understanding, that's right? That's right? Of understanding what's kind of going on, but your significant other isn't really understanding that. They're kind of like, well, you're supposed to be here for me 24 7. You're my almost like a emotional support animal, almost in a sense. Like instead of them registering an animal, they register a person. That's a little extreme. Right? No, I'm, I mean, I'm just trying to look, man. I'm just here for the hypotheticals. I'm just, I'm, I'm not saying that's you or that's what's going on, but. I know you can understand it because no, you're in a relationship and being in a relationship, it can make you think. No, exactly. No, it can make you think. And that's where like, it's like, um, <laughs> you got to fucking learn how to like, balance your... No, it's facts. Exactly. That's why you get such a good interviewer. <laughs> we can do another interview, man. But uh, this is like the, oh, the thing about balancing a relationship, oh, next. right? Pause. Where it's like, bro, there's positives and negatives to everything. And I have to say I to that it. with me and my and Riley's oh, relationship, I have noticed... Yeah. More positives than there are yeah. negatives, hundred percent. What, if, what, if, what if she might notice more than you do? And that's a and that's oh, okay, uh, you just reminded me. That's the, sometimes that's, the that's conversations what, don't happen because no, people are afraid of what the next their significant other might say that, and sharp like or how they saying, might feel about I, something. How sharp, they might feel. Sharp. I've been in those shoes a couple times where I have this thought in the back of my head, like if I bring this up right now, it's probably gonna be an argument, right? I, I have been, that. I've been I like this, I've been like this my whole life where I don't care, dude. I'm finna bring it up. I'm been, I'm gonna be like, yo, Sharp, what about this? I don't care if your Sharp's gonna get mad at me. I'm not gonna disrespect you purposely, but no. if there's something no. that I really no. feel like I need to ask you, like, right. I'm gonna, even if you get upset at me, I'm gonna ask you. And that goes to Riley to anyone. He is like that. That's and it's right. like, I'm like that my whole life. And it's like, bro, like, I've noticed at this point, Riley understands me to a point, bro. Like, I've been wrong. I've been 100% wrong. And she comes meet, greets me at the end of my wrongness, saying, Yuri, you've been wrong this whole time, but I love you. Let's and I'm, I'm going to let you figure out on your own Exactly. I'm going to let you see what you did wrong. But what if that person then, has to go without you to realize that? That's another step right? level. Right? Even though if you, if you, let's, say, let's say you love them, <laughs> you want to be with them, right? Because I know you're... you're um, you're a heartfelt man, and that, yeah. that's a good man to me. But what if you 
You love them, you cherish them, but they just don't see eye to eye. And that's like the whole force of like uh, communication, right? You have to, like I said a second ago, you have to be able to be like, bro, even I know, even if I know that Bell ain't gonna like this question I got, I'm gonna be like, bro, like, yo, uh, not only could, you pay, could you pay half of that Uber? I mean, like, it's like weird questions like that. You have to be like willing to be like, yo, are you finna you down to pay half on that thing that we just got or like, you know like like i don't know like uncomfortable question you have to be you have to be willing to ask those uncomfortable questions i don't think and with that relationships it's super important to be like very hey, true these are my goals for the next five years yeah i don't think uh, if you don't fit these do if you don't fit these goals for the next five years we're not gonna work out and that's right. the important weird conversation to have as an adult you have to be like bro i never thought about that ever in life also, never been in a relationship. Hey, this nigga's spitting, dog. I've never been in a relationship that long. Bill, what's the longest relationship you've ever been in? The longest relationship I've ever been in? Let's get a bottle up here, bro. Some rose. How long? I don't drink. Uh, well, order it up for us. We, we all here. Come on, I got us. I said, like, some rose, man. Maybe we win a good conversation right now. I'm over here. Uh, and then I did like a two. I, I, I don't know if I want to call it an interrogation <laughs> or a period. <laughs> you remember that? Send you the menu. Uh, uh, you can't say it. Hold on. Yeah, I can't say it. Come get yeah, it. Yeah, for the blind I was going to say, text it to me, I'll text it to him. Yeah, text it to him and he'll text it to me. You for the order? As a matter of fact, no, you take my fucking Wait, what you bro? You need that. Oh, okay, never mind. You want to order food? I, I thought they were the there. small bag of spicy. Uh, let's go to the uh, purple. Oh, oh, I can give you my sweet yeah. chili. Yeah. I was like, no, no. way. These I, are, are amazing. I've never seen that size of sweet chili ones. That's why I was tripping. I was like, bro, what the fuck? No, but yeah, it's like, bro, it's it's interesting with the relationship shit. It's interesting with the friendship shit because I've had them with my homies. You know what yeah. I mean? Like I've had homies that yeah, I, I really cherish their their, yeah. their their friendship where I was like, I love hanging out with my homie all the time. I love you don't you don't friends. judge me from my background, do you? Of course not, bro. Look at me in my no, face when you awesome. say it. Sharp. Honestly. I look I, at you. Yuri probably, Yuri probably looks up to you. Ah, gosh, but it's not even looking up. I, I just want to know, bro, as you being a square, right? Like you living <laughs> a, a you living a very <laughs> mundane life, right? Yeah. How do you look at a person like me when you sit down with me and you have a couple drinks? Honestly, bro, be honest with me. One hundred percent. This isn't something that I. I feel like I feel like some people, like you were saying, like yeah. people look at me thinking like I'm some white dude who hasn't done nothing. Well, you're not in right, life, white. You're or, Russian. Or, yeah, or like or like hasn't done like blah blah whatever. Like I've done things I'm not proud of in my life, and I've also not only that, but like. Every family value, like every family structure out there has, has not been perfect. I've been yeah. a part of very, very toxic fucking situations. Yeah. And I've learned a lot through my whole life. And one thing I've also learned is like, I appreciate people's character more than anything. And it sounds so corny, bro. And this, is the, and this is the no, one bro. No, bro, this is the one thing that people forget about. Like when I, when I was in elementary school, people would say, don't look at people's skin color. Don't look at their culture. Judge them off their character. That shit has gone in the wind now. Now you it's know. like judge people off their skin color, judge pe people off their like ethnicity, and, and, and treat them. No, 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 no. If you go to bro, if you go to school and you're a white, you get bro. It's I'm telling you, bro. It's now it's treat people based off their skin color and treat people based off their ethnicity. Back in the day, it was treat people off their character and how they act in tough situations. Hell no, I'm gonna it ask you. And that's how it was. I've it was more been. like that back in the day. No, it's not like it's you like think that so? now. Yes, 100%. I'm not saying that it's not yeah. like that now. Yeah. Like I that feel now. like back in the day, it was more like that. No, I think it's like that now. I think I think like I think right now, if you were to go to if you if I were to go to a job, subscribe to the channel. If I were to go to a job and I had all the credentials to get a job, and I was white. And then if you went to the same job, had all the connections you're not to job, it. and you're black, you're not getting it. You're gonna get it because you're black. Because they want to have that Whoa, little extra thing. Bro. It's true. It's like it's like it's a it's a weird little it's like a opposite racial thing that becomes racial again because they're trying to make it so opposite. It's, it's like, like it's a weird. Hey, it's a weird thing. Can I ask you something? Now I think the chat wants to know this, and you can clear up a lot of things okay. here tonight. Like for real, bro. I fuck with you. I, you, I really bro. do, bro. Uh, I Yuri, you know, before I you, you even you, think, you're like, not ever, you're not ever uh, when you say that. I honestly, I know I, you generally do. I really, I really fuck with you, bro. Like, and I, I, but I think the chat really wants to know, like, are you really with Riley, 
Or do you feel like it might just be your turn right now? Whatever may happen, may happen. It could be your chick in the end. Or is this just um, a stolen moment or a borrowed moment for you both? Well, I have to say this, guys. You That's know, this, not, this is not the right. Most. Like for them both, not just for her, not just for That's Yuri, but for them both. Question. And this is where, like, I have to like put myself out on blast. Where, like, I feel like some people could have seen this weekend stream and like made their own assumption assumptions yeah. about our relationship. But guys, fuck the stream this weekend, right? I, like it was content. I exactly. I didn't grow up in the the most healthiest household. Mm. You know what I mean? Like where I can like. Learn, 551. The, learn the best yep. relationship advice Bye. ever, right? Like, mm -hmm. I've had to learn by myself. And honestly, like, my examples have been the worst. Like, yeah. my examples of a relationship have not been good at all. So it's just like, I'm not saying I'm basing my shit off that, but I'm saying that me as a Yuri Amabaev, as my, me and myself, I am not the best possible partner yeah. there is to have in the world. None of us are. There's none, a, of us are. none of us <laughs> are. And I know that for sure. I, I am not, like, I'm not the perfect guy in the relationship going like, you're doing this wrong, you're doing this wrong. Uh, there's many things I'm doing wrong that she has to deal with and then she has to be okay with and like all this shit and it's like a at least y'all both recognize and that, it's a bro. it's like a pug it's like a tug and pull thing and well do like, they really and both honestly I honestly I think so the more that I spend time around them I really do see that I think that they both understand that they both be tripping sometimes no facts I well I don't want to see it take um a turn of events to where yeah. It can hurt either one of them. Yeah. Because I've seen, like, yeah. even this weekend, fuck Reddit. I hate Reddit. I hate what? their fucking I guts. I but they have made, <laughs> they, listen, and I hate giving somebody something that they want to see yeah. if yeah. I don't like them. So yeah. I have saw Reddit really take a hold of they did. their relationship this yeah. weekend. And I feel like when Reddit oh, the takes, Reddit when the Reddit or Reddit. the blogs, I don't look at that but shit. I feel I like know. when the, the Reddit, last three days have been nothing but him, oh, yeah. him but I feel like when the Reddit and the blogs take a hold of somebody's relationship, yeah. it kind of dictates yeah. quietly yeah, yeah. what's going on in the relationship. Sure, and yeah. I don't want um, the social media or these apps to hold that accountability and honestly, for you guys, bro. Because I really fuck with you, man. I fuck with you. I fuck with Riley. And you. I'm like, I don't really like how they dictate the narrative to your guys' relationship. No, and, my, and, and, my, and, my, and that's like the hard part where like, the, I, I have to deal with that a lot because like Riley's you know less on stream than I am. And I have to see all these negative comments about me, about Riley, about all that stuff. And I have to be able to like, control my own narrative about my perspective on things, right? And that's where, like, I have more experience with this shit than uh, I feel like other people do, or especially, like, probably Riley does because she's, like, a little bit newer to it. But also, with the whole Reddit controlling the narrative thing, it's, like, we've noticed it, you know, in our arguments. Where, yes, like, bro. Where sometimes we're, like, I... I do you feel like... I, can I ask you I, this? Wait, well, because this is a question. This is a question. Hey, and I'll shut the fuck up. This is a question, bro, that I would ask anybody because I be feeling like that with bitches I, I, I may have had for 10 years or whatever. Yeah. Do you feel like that's genuinely your chick or do you feel like it's your fucking turn? Is it just your turn right now, right? Like, Neil, we've been there. Yeah. I've been there as a real nigga, bro, for real. Like, damn, is it just my turn with this bitch? Yeah. Or is this... No, it was just my turn. Neil, guess like, what? Have you been with a chick for the last 10 years? Nope, I haven't. Uh, have you? <laughs> I, I, I don't think you have. I haven't been with a girl longer than Did, a year. Have you? Damn. I haven't. But also... Guess but, what? Sounds like we're all in the same <laughs> fucking wait, 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 hold up. Boat. Let, me, let me land. Let me land. The let same go. fuck. Let me you land. can land, but guess what? We're all landing on the same property. <laughs> and the we all landed and on the, the same land. property wait, in that one. And the, and the Angry property. Birds had nothing on us. Because we all landed wait, 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 in the same wait, wait, property. And the property that we're landing on is we the same landed. property that our parents landed on, right? And when, oh, I, when, I, think, when I think about stuff like that, I think about my parents' relationship. My parents have gone... Dude, I've, I've been to foster home. My parents have been to the crazy wow. shit in their hey, relationship, right? But guess and, guess what? What? and guess what? My parents have never crazy, cheated yeah. on each other. Yeah. They have never done each other dirty to that level. They've argued. They've separated. They've gone back together. They've never done each other dirty I remember to that, that time, Yuri. I remember when I had my first beer. And all of them <laughs> having their first beer, right? No, I'm just saying. That's not the time and era that we live in anymore. Yeah. This is 2023, bro. 
People are doing but what they want to gain instant gratification. That's true. They're they're moving for it, bro. But sure. Also, wait, hold on. They can love you today and hate you tomorrow, baby boy, before the sun even comes up. Do you, do you, think, you know this, right? Do you think, do you think this is You why know I this, right? Do you think this I, do you think this is why that sometimes maybe some people can feel like you're so harsh on like the OnlyFans girls, which is like they have that I'm instant woke. instant grat gratification. I'm woke. Which is like, oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy this month. I'm so happy this two yeah, months. Like, I'm so happy these three months. Bitch, I'm making a year it later. You're a month, fucking bitch. slut hoe with like no money. No one wants to marry you. No one wants to be in a relationship with you. You've been trained by all of Los Angeles, and you're, you're broke. It's I'm like, and that's the shit that you're Los trying to warn the girls about. Bro. You're like, bro. Damn. You can get, you can get ran right. through, be broke, and then have nothing of value at the end. It's like you gotta like, fucking, like hold yourself as a value in order to. I tell you this because I think everybody even wants it because I love you, bro, and I fuck with you. Hey, come spend thirty days with me. <laughs> Do a week. At thirty least. Days, no, two weeks at least minimum. I feel like my rules Do might be doing fourteen, 14 days with me. No. Do 14 <laughs> days with me, bro, and me and you even sitting down behind the camera. <laughs> I'll, I'll wake you up to a few things, bro. Oh, just, I can't go to any strip clubs. We're not going there. Why would you stereotype me? I'm not trying to that stereotype. Why, do you, why would you think oh that's what we're going? What did he say? What did he say? What did he say? That he can't go to any strip clubs. Why the fuck are we going I'm there? Sorry. Why I'm are we going it's there? It's a Vegas thing. No, no it's, it's you thought it was it's a shark thing. thing. You no. think no. shark is black. Bro. <laughs> and you thought, because I've done criminal activity in my past, that... He, that's wow, just the fuck I'm on. Wow, that's bro. just the fuck Super I'm on. We're at 608. Oh my god, dude. This is crazy. <laughs> I'm tripping, I guess. That's I'm crazy, sorry. I apologize, Sharp. How could I, I don't I take have, that shit personal. How could I ever assume? How could, listen, <laughs> how could you ever repay me should be the fucking question. And how you can you're, repay me, you come dead, stay yeah. with me for two weeks and we fucking go up 24-7. <laughs> And I show people how to really tap into your mind, bro. Like, for real. I'm going to show you how to tap into your mind, bro. Two weeks is a long time. We sit back and, no, hey, listen to me. We, week, we wake up early. We have <laughs> breakfast. We go in the backyard. Yes, we drink, man. We what sit up under the trees and we have good this? conversation. What time do you wake up? We slept in peace. A lot of times, man, about 8.30. I wake up at 11. No. That's cool. No. You gotta get up. <laughs> Things have changed, Yuri. He said no. I'm going to show you how to enjoy the day. Nigga, I'm gonna show you how to enjoy bird, the day. We bro, here in a bird's church. Sharp, right? Yeah, hey. I think that nigga sharp be up at eight, and nigga still be up at three thirty. Three in the morning. Yeah. I'm like, like, how, bro? Hey, chat. I need chat, man, to throw up uh, throw up a bunch of church emojis, man. If you want this nigga to come stay at my house for two weeks, that would be fucking insane. I would. I need to know, man. Throw up the church saying, emoji, hey, man. Y'all hey, put sharp, the church house up. Riley, if y'all want, huh? You have to talk to Riley, my boy. Hey, I'm going to say this. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Bill. Hey, listen. Now, nothing but love. Riley, nothing but love to Riley. Hey. Nothing but love to Riley, but I got this one. All right. Not a him right man. here. Love, hey, man. Him man. right here. Listen to me, man. Hey. Listen. What I don't understand is why women will not allow the man to go and be the fucking man. If he wants to go away for two weeks, you, you should know. be able to. That's but listen to me, and I'm not talking about right. Riley. That's insecurities into a woman. Obviously, you need to reevaluate your situation and the relationship that you're in. You can't trust your man to walk away for two weeks. Oh, this shit. nigga's not this, doing shit. This just you can see up. his fucking face. Why would you be mad at him uh, leaving? Honestly, <laughs> hey, I appreciate. You I for, wouldn't. I appreciate you for understanding. If I was a woman, I wouldn't be mad. This nigga done left. The fuck's he gonna go do? <laughs> <laughs> Play Jeopardy Masters? Oh, what the oh, fuck is he doing? Thanks, Play Minecraft. <laughs> hey, listen. You can't be. Listen Don't to me, homie. My boy. Hey, do not get with. Do, do not. Used to, used to be. Oh, hey, hey be let me tell you something, homie. Oh, yeah. Used to be. That's past tense. We can't do that anymore. That's and I'm not saying even for that. Yeah. But just come on, man. All right, sharp. What if? You're a girl, right? I'm not saying you're in a You couldn't even hang out with her for I'm two saying, minutes. She'd be mad at you, Yuri. Sharp. What if she'd be mad at you? And I tell her, hey man, give Yuri some action. Hey, fuck with him. See if you can move with him. See if this is a man you can move with. Would you trust your like if you were in like a serious super, like relationship? Would you trust your girl to go away? I'm not place? insecure. You would trust. Insecurities come with that, homie. Mm. If you can't trust that, then guess what? You need to reevaluate the type of chick that you may be around. You did. I'm just being honest. If you got to, as a square, reevaluate, you can't trust your chick going up the motherfucking street. <laughs> what the fuck is going on, bro? No, you can't right. be a boss. 
and really have that bitch. No, what's clinging to that bitch is your insecurities and you need to let that shit go. What is let it go. What is your goal with me if I stay with you for two weeks to <laughs> Greatness. That's Greatness? Good question, yeah. You know what it is, Yuri? Getting you woke, bro. You don't think I'm woke enough already? No. 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 He, no. Let's no. Like How old are you, Yuri? I'm 29. I just turned 29. You just turned 29? Yes. Bro, I would swear that you've only lived a quarter of your life because talking to like you. A, it's my, not the look. Face. I listen to your words. <laughs> I don't think about the way you look, bro. I listen to your words, man. I don't look, I don't stereotype color, homie. I didn't come from that in this game. And you know what? I liked that game. This game taught me that. I don't look at color, dog. You don't underestimate no man. But also, Sharp, I've never, I've, no, I've, I've, I've had a lot of friends in my life, right? We're a 6 and I've, and I've had friends who are like, who want to seem like the most like wisdomful fucking guy in the room, right? I've never had that ego in my life where I'm like, I want to look like hey. the biggest badass. Hey, brother. I don't care if anyone in the hey. room thinks I'm, I'm a, a nerd. I'm, I'm going to show you something. Hey, life. I don't give a fuck. The dude. smartest motherfucker in the room. If you're the smartest person in the room, you're in the wrong room. Facts. Right? No, that's Okay, not. Yeah, right? Uh, right? You're the smartest person in the room. You're in the wrong room, bro. You're bored. You're bored as fuck. Yeah, you got nothing so, to do. So, I don't, I don't even look at it like that. I just want you, hey man, in this life, you got to come learn things. And sometimes you might need to step outside the box. That's the only way you can connect the dots, right? No facts. You got to step outside the box to connect the dots, man. You can't stay inside of it. A lot of people do that because that's a safe way. They're scared to see what's on the other side. And that's the whole thing about content. You know what it might do to you? You want me to tell you what it might do to you? It might make you come back and reevaluate your entire situation. That's and, and maybe you even your chick babe, man. Let's send her on a fucking retreat. No. Why not? <laughs> what are you afraid of? Sure, sure, sure. But I'm just saying, what you afraid of? Send that shit on what it is. That way you shut up the naysayers of what they think about you and you being with your chick, right? That's how they shut this shit. You shut it all the way the fuck down. I'm about to go step with Shark for two weeks, and guess what? My chick can go, man, she'll go hang out. She'll have a man, massage, man, masseuses, everything, and just and just really reevaluate. Hey, man, sometimes it's okay to re-knock your bitch. See, niggas fail to realize that and think about the game that I'm kicking. Sometimes... It's okay. I'm not it's shit, that's how we lose them. We if if lose that's them. a real one, yeah. Okay, yeah, then on we shouldn't even have these kind of conversations. You're right. Go ahead, Bill. Only thing I so is my motherfucking car key, nigga. Okay, okay, okay. okay. I'm going to re-knock. Well, damn, Bill. Re-knock? Re-knock is like if someone else fucks your girl, then you fuck her after. Hey, you ever heard of people like, hey, listen, for you squares, right? Listen. For you square, listen, it's like somebody going and renewing their vows, right? <coughs> they do it because they want to freshen it up. Like somebody who goes and gets married, right? And then 10 years, 12, 20 years later, they go and they renew their vows. That's rich. That's, it's not about being rich, bro. It is. It's about it's respecting. It's about respecting what you truly have. My parents have been married for 40 years. They've never re renewed their vows. So they've never <laughs> had to re knock each other. You said four years or 40 years? That ain't a life worth That's living. That's crazy. Y'all should want to be able to re-knock each other. You should want to let your man know that you still that bitch, and I would want to let my bitch know I'm still that nigga. Yeah, yeah, Fuck yeah. is you talking about? We're getting it cracking. You don't think it's like an American thing? No. No one does that in Russia. No, see, I'm going to tell you some real game, right, bro? See, the problem is with motherfuckers, and I've understood this, y'all get somebody, and when you get comfortable, you forgot how you got them. You don't do the same things anymore. Mm. That's what makes people think outside like, damn, like, is there better? That's why Instagram can knock your bitch. Not even a nigga. <laughs> Not even a nigga. Instagram and what people say. A couple photos. What Instagram people try to do. Like, bro, and, and you know what it is? And that's why your chick will come to you and be like, man, why are we doing this? Why? Hold on, baby. That ain't even our life. Why is she coming to you like that? Because she's seeing other people living like that. And she don't understand why y'all ain't living like that. I'm just keeping it real, bro. That is, that is. If, if you're going to have somebody for longevity, yeah, sometimes you're going to have to do some re-knocking. And I get it. it yeah. You got to knock on some other doors. Bruh, sometimes, <laughs> bruh, house phone.
Sometimes, <laughs> if you really want the bitch, you're going to have to do some re-knocking. And what that means is freshing it up, sprucing the situation up, doing something that y'all don't necessarily do all the time. Like, come on, baby. I just want to show you something new. We cannot live in what we would consider normal. That shit's not normal. Being with somebody for 40 years and homie, y'all don't even change a pace. No, she's going to want to see somebody who's living spontaneously. I don't think, dude, well, I don't think that's true because like my mom, she has cared nothing. She it's has, 2023. Only... Ask your mom, when's your mom get married? Yeah, it is different. Bro. When's your mom get married? I don't know. The world changes every 10 <laughs> years. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. The world changes Every 10 years. What's your longest relationship? My longest? 10 years. Sure. <laughs> hey, can I ask you this one? And, and that was with a bitch that was paying me, bro. Oh paying me. Is nigga. that a relationship? The most serious relationship, nigga. What do you mean? It don't get no more serious than that. This bitch sells pussy and I can still lay my head next to her. Nigga, what the fuck can you do? Could you do it? I'm asking Hell. you this. Hold on. I'm asking like as a, just men upon men, right? Could you lay next to a bitch, my nigga, at night and sleep peacefully knowing that she's selling her pussy? Fuck no. I no. Pay, I Listen, I gave... No. Pussy. It's not for the average I, I, I man. Say, I'm not gonna it's say not that. for the average man. I'm just saying. And it don't make you or, weak. It don't make you bad. Wait, wait, hey, wait. It don't make you bad. Wait, hey, but sorry. not everybody can accept wait, that. Sharp. Another Why one. do you think I exist, nigga? Hold on, wait, wait. <laughs> Why do you think wait, I wait, exist? Wait, sorry. Uh, or another one, another man. one. Another one. Nigga, this is crazy. Can, can you lay next to your girl after she was butt-ass, booty hole, naked, upside down on the pole, busting it open for that dollar? Yeah, yeah. I would never date a stripper in my life. Yeah, I would. You would? Fuck yeah. Yeah. Fuck no, you would. Yeah, I would. Let you would, the, you would come... Strippers be the coolest bitches. Oh my god. I swear to god, nigga, have you ever met a stripper? I'm yet? sorry guys, but it's like they be cool. Okay, I'm, I'm I'm not gonna give my perspective on I'm not gonna <laughs> no, give me your perspective. You give your perspective on everything else. Shit, nigga. It's just now us. you don't wanna give your perspective. It's just no, us. Cause people cause people think I like I hate sex workers or some shit like that. You but do. Like, that you sounds do. gross to me. You hate them. To lay down next to some <laughs> woman. Who's got like some dick slapped on her all night, and all you're right. like, "All right, let's go to sleep, babe." It's cool. Bro, oh, nobody's slapping raw meat out <laughs> in, in, in the club. Bro. Yeah, like, come on. I mean, maybe, maybe some, right? Like, <laughs> all alone. No, but listen. Hey, wait, wait. Sharp, I gotta break. So you telling me every nigga that's sitting on this couch right now would not, could not accept no, no, no. that, right? Wait. It's not wrong. That's me, not normal. It's off. not normal wait, to wait, accept let me take it. Off. Let me take off. Let me but you better off. land right. Listen. You better <laughs> land right <laughs> through all this shit. You can take hey, off hey, like a motherfucker. Hey, listen, the house listen, phone, you better man. not get us there messy. Listen, Do man. not listen, get us there messy, listen, bro. I thought that I could accept that until. I got to a point where I'm not the same. I wasn't the same house phone that's out till 3, 4, 5, 6 a.m. Uh, nigga, nigga, goes. nigga, I was getting done. I'm getting done with no jumper by 11 p.m. I'm trying to go home and go to sleep. I got to wait till 2 a.m. <laughs> to the bitches, to the club close. Then the bitch got to split the money with the homegirl. Nigga, I, nigga I'm not, we not leaving till 3, 4 a.m. You deal with Then it? we got to go back to the crib and you got to count the money. You're you was an innocent bystander, and they felt bad. <laughs> they said, okay, house phone was with us. House phone was kicking no, it with man. us. He has been rocking with us all night. Yeah. So, yeah, no. they shot you, so I like you, listening. money. I am I'm listening. listening. Well, then break it down me. to me. I ain't I'm cut not, you off. I'm not talking about me going to the strip club. I'm talking about my bitch being a stripper, <laughs> and I have to go pick her up every night. Yeah. I thought I was cool with it until I was doing it. And then I was like, I'm not cool with this shit. I thought I was cool with it. No. And I was like, wait, hold on. Why would you be cool with that? Because nigga, I like, nigga, cause she coming home to me. She not fucking at, at the at the She's job. Fucking. But, nigga, here, but here's the thing. That's where, if that's, it, where it, that's where you got fucked but up. But here's at. the thing, is that cause, it, the, cause it, the real cold bitch is gonna get the top bread without even having to fuck. No, 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 no. At no, the no, strip no, club. And Vela stone hundreds. He can touch me anywhere he wants. Bro, shut the fuck up. And then I'm going to my dad to you. Bro, what? Sorry, what you think about this? That's what's crazy, here. right? Well, shut the fuck up. <laughs> I was lighting up my joint, church. What is it? He said, he said that if a nigga's throwing bread, it don't matter 
the bitch is gonna let the nigga do whatever he wants to her at the, at the strip club. Can you trust a stripper? No. That's not true. That's not true. Who even would say that? You get stripper. your ass thrown out the strip club even with your fucking glasses. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, don't think that you just ex exiled from good, that. Good riddance. Dude. No, that's I'm out of here, dude. Listen, no, you wouldn't. That's with that's all your money here, gone, dude. you don't <laughs> want that, bro. Don't do that to <laughs> yourself. I know. Hold this. Hold this. Listen. Hold this. Oh my money gone. Listen. Hey, yo. Do you need a phone? Forty-eight percent. I'll give you one in a second. Look, it's stripper girls that I know that are safer, like sexually wise. Perfect time for a drink. I'll be service. I'm Safe, gonna read some super chats than, right now. Then normal <clears throat> girls yeah. like the stream. They subscribe to the stream. Got man. got more hustle in them, and, and you know know how to make money and know yeah. how to talk to people better. But also, here's the that thing. Don't mean, that, that don't mean that they're like some like whore that's like fucking. Exactly. And, and also, like, and selling pussy wait, after the club. I'm giving that my, don't mean every girl is like that. <laughs> I'm giving my perspective not. off movies right now. I've never dated a stripper. But off movies I've seen. <laughs> Nigga, life is not a movie. <laughs> I know it's not a movie. But, but off movies I've seen, like Spanglish and like other movies, okay. there's women and there's men who are put in tough positions. But men who are like, like, bro, I would not want to really do this. But like, if, if I had options, I would not want to do this. I'm finna do this because this is my only option, right? Girls, a you, guy, a you guy, think they like, have other options. a guy is like, bro, a guy is like, yo, my options are unemployment or McDonald's paycheck. A girl's <laughs> options like unemployment, OnlyFans bag. But not, <laughs> but not every girl, well. not every girl has those options, and just and and like. Even if Facts. they do decide that that's what they want to do, don't mean that it's going to be successful. That's true. Same thing with guys. It's like being a local SoundCloud rapper. Like, oh, like. Oh, it yeah, might work. It might sure, not. Like, like yeah. you feel me? No, yeah, that's facts. facts. I don't know. It's, it, like, and that's what I'm saying. Like, bro, that's where I have to respect. Like, just like I, I super appreciate the friendships I have in my life. You know what I mean? Like, House Phone, Vel, Sharp, other people in my life. You guys know that. We come from different. Yeah, we try to we come. We come from a yeah, couple. I do. We come from different perspectives and lives. Yeah, you and Bell do. Together, you I try to Bell and House will do. Cause y'all niggas be crazy sometimes. I, have, and yeah. I feel like I know you niggas can make millions, but <laughs> you're not really trying to stay. Like you gotta stay out of the picture, homie. It's gonna be yeah. some people you you can't fuck with. No. Wait. Okay. Yeah. House on. I mean, I'm sorry. Sharp. Do you think you can be a, like a successful drunk. millionaire while also having family values? Yeah. Why not? Well, why not? Why do you think that? Why do those know, I know, I know, why do those correlate? I, I know why. I thought that's because what you were trying to say. Like sharp, you're just so much in the streets. No, no, no. You, how the fuck could you ever even understand? Even <laughs> want to even know what a family value is? I'll say it for him. Yeah. I know. No, 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 no. no. no because you were just because saying you want to be a oh. about it, and you want to try to act like no, it's just like no, no, no sharp, no. but with no disrespect. No, but what you're saying is sharp. How the fuck could you even understand that when your whole entire life is not about saying. money and business? I would never question your wisdom. Of course you wouldn't because, say that. Because no, 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 no. It's not. It's not that I wouldn't say that. It's that I feel like you're misinterpreting what I was trying to say. Because me as a man, I would not question your wisdom and the things I'm trying to talk about. Because I know you're more experienced, right? All I'm trying to say is that from your previous conversation about <laughs> you, uh, you, you were saying that like you're willing to have that type of relationship where she's doing this, blah blah, whatever. I had to, bro. You couldn't do it. That's what I'm saying. You couldn't like, do, do it. Not to look at you. Right. Your but face, you, but no. That, and I'm, I'm telling you but, this like man to man, right? Like, okay. and nothing but love. And you know what? No, you might go and work. Uh, I work hard, sharp for my dollars, right? Yeah, and yeah. I work hard, like a man does that, right? Like a man works for it. Exactly. Church motherfuckers don't even know what this shit even takes. <clears throat> if you really think about it, I've asked everybody the same question: Could you take your chick doing something like that, even stripping, and go home and lay your head next to it? I couldn't. You couldn't even do it, let alone I her couldn't. selling some fucking pussy. So niggas can't yeah, even no. tell me nothing. No. Niggas can't even tell me nothing into what I dealt with. Homie. And that's what I'm talking what about. What I like, dealt with as a the man. Perspective man. difference. And nigga, let's be real. No. I ain't the ugliest thing in the bunch. I know I can go move be a celebrity bitch right now who's got multi millions. Mm -hmm. All I gotta do is be in love with the bitch, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> or pretend to be. But I never <laughs> loved them, nigga. I loved hoes. Sorry. <laughs> hey. Sorry, I loved hoes. Hey. And I hope the hoes hear this, homie. That's who I loved. I could have went and had me one of these rich ass bitches tomorrow. Hell, I could have been where August Alcina was, nigga, with Jada Man, Pinkett, that, nigga. That, no, that's insane, but, huh? But I, this is me, bro. 
I am not going to change who I am in the mixture. All I can do is just embrace it. That's how you embrace your superpower, bro. People don't know how to embrace their gifts. Just be who you are. All right. Just Yo. genuinely be who you are and not what somebody tells you to be. That's the problem. Sharp, I'm glad you brought up the AI guy. What if you're hey, here, What if you're chilling at that bar that we were at oh, earlier, right? Oh, I'm uh, yeah, August, August, yeah. Oh, what oh, if you... I hate it with you. <laughs> just got up to it. <laughs> no, he said AI, and I'm like, what do you mean AI? Yeah. What if you were at that bar AA, earlier, right? Boy. And you, like, just happened just casually to have a conversation with a girl. She's a billionaire, yeah. right? Yeah. Are you finna, like, be like, yo, she's feeling me. She loves me. She doesn't want me to go do this tonight. I'm gonna I'm a not, I'm a not do this tonight, so I like think, I, I cherish my relationship think, with this billionaire. Who do you billionaire. think that chick, okay, so that billionaire chick, right? Okay. Who do you think she's gonna love in three months? The person that you portrayed to be or the person that you really were when she met you? That's a better way of thinking, for sure. I don't wanna work you're too saying, hard, church. I don't want to work too hard, so I don't want to sit there and try to put on this facade that when in three months, nigga, I know I'm going to show who I really am. I might as well show yeah. this bitch who it is now. That way, nigga, I got something smooth sailing. Yeah. <laughs> nigga, why the Damn, fuck bro. we about to go upstream? That's what salmons do, nigga. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, bars, nigga. <laughs> bars. I was not ready for that. That way you ain't got to worry about changing up on a bitch in three months and you can really stand on your square. He Man. said, "That's and what salmon is do. Like, I, I love salmon. Wisdom, because it's crazy. Things I could learn from people that <laughs> nigga said that's what salmon do. I was not that ready was for that. Yeah, that, that was, was a cold, bar. Bro. I don't have. A I love salmon. Do for sure, and I can learn from other. You people. did, nigga. What? Nigga, my eyes got big and stuff. Like that is what salmon do. <laughs> what the fuck?" Oh my god, bro. How does he come I up with this shit? Bro, listen, it'd be, it be off the dome, too, bro. Freestyle, hello, Yo, motherfucker. Hey, hey, how, how you doing? Up shit? I just saw this the other day, bro. There's a whole species of turtles that only fucking uh, lay eggs in their original birth spot. And right now, because uh, the way uh, the world is, like uh, pollution, all this shit, like beaches are always changing, all this shit. There's a bunch of turtles. There's like footage of it where they go back to their original birth spot where they're trying to lay eggs. There ain't no space because it's full of tires and plastic and fucking like, and world. syringes and shit. And they end up just dumping their eggs in the ocean. And I was like, bro, like it's kind of like funny. It's like weird. It's like you hear about the shit, but then I've been seeing like hella footage of like them like, of, like nutting in the fucking ocean. Of them, no, not just nutting. They're like, oh, like oh, like, I'm finna lay my eggs. I have nowhere to lay my eggs. Like, all right, I'm just finna dump them in the fucking ocean. It's like you see this shit. I'm like, bro, this shit's fucked up, dude. That's fucking Hey, sad. man, free the fucking turtles, man. I don't know what Sharp has to say about this. Free the fucking turtles. Hey, I got to hey. take a piss. Can you, uh... Here, here, let me do it. Let me do it. House phone go crazy. Fed. Fed house phone. I'm trying to flip it Fed around. Phone. Fed you phone. Just double tap that bitch and it flips it around. <coughs> uh, Be careful. Y'all ever notice these casinos only look big to y'all because y'all don't know how to maneuver through them. That street bike slow when as you, fuck, though. When you go to the Bellagio, I'm looking at the roundabout, right? The roundabout takes you right here. That's like a little garden right there. That garden to the right right there is two, there's two different bars right there. There's one where somebody plays a piano, and there's one right there where everybody can sit at, at the roundabout. Like, bro, it looks smaller when you know the layout. Yeah. Once you learn the layout, that's, oh, that, that's how they get you in big cities. Because you don't know the layout, so the city looks big. But once you learn that shit, homie, that shit looks small as a motherfucker. I feel you there. Real guy. That's all so, I'll bring that one to you. Like, this shit's smaller than you think, homie. No, Holly, uh, I know Hollywood's not nothing like to the Vegas Strip, but I have the same thing in Hollywood where people are like, shit is they come and they visit, big. they're like, oh, it's so, it's like, so big. And you're like, bro, like, like yeah, you can walk not, from here to here, like, any not, day. Once you learn this shit, bro, you know, like, the back of your hand, this shit over with. No, facts. The rest is to be solved. Have you ever lost, uh, like, an exorbitant amount of money, like, gambling? No. I never heard you about, like, talk about gambling. No, like, I, I, I said it downstairs, I mean, when I, 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 people, I like craps from time to time, but when people see me, they be like, man, why don't you come hop on the table? Because there's a lot of people that's addicted to it. I always tell them I'm already winning, bro. I don't need to stop. I, I live around this motherfucker, so the fuck I need to be moving around trying to spin my old bag trying to gamble. Nigga, I know this city wasn't built on winning. Bro, hey. It's damn sure not built on breaking even, so who's really getting the, the, the profit? Nigga, think about the whole concept of this shit, bro. We in the middle of the fucking desert, in the middle of nowhere, bro. And they just start building a bunch of big-ass billboards and shit, nigga. Yeah. 
you seen that dude uh, <clears throat> from Fools Gone Wild? The, the the dude who posts like, um, this is where I am. Where are you? He's like he's like, hey, I just sold a million dollar property, in Beverly Hills. Where are you? You, you see that guy? He has like a Hard funny Rock little beard Nick. and shit. Are you talking about Hard Rock Nick? Hard Rock Nick. What y'all know about Hard Rock Nick, bro? I know everything about him. Do you? He's the fucking goat. Bro, I I went like a deep dive on his. Instagram. Yeah, me. No, nigga, I no. <laughs> Bro, I, I could show you a whole documentary about his whole life right now. How about him talking about how his dad was like a casino owner and he grew he up lied like about everything. And shit. None of that shit's true. Yo, Bucks. Wait. Is that true? <laughs> Yo, Bucks. Yo, Bucks. What do you have to say about Hard Rock Nick? Is he, is he cap? Yes. <laughs> Everything's cap? Bro, that nigga. Bro, that, nothing that nigga has ever said is true, bro. I think that like I think that it is true that he grew up in, in We well. should watch we should watch Hard Rock Nick. The Tropical Punch. Tropical Punch for sure. No hand no hands down. The cream sold a house one left in there a while ago. Yeah, I never Yuri keeps snitching on me, man. Bro, Yuri, look. Yuri's recording me like this with the lean right in front of me like No, I wasn't. And they're like they're like they're like house Niggas is arguing in the comments like, is he on it? Is he not on it? That was crazy, bro. I didn't even know that was my double cup. Shit. Oh. They didn't even know that was like. I'm so tired, bro. That was my cream soda I was sipping on. So they said call the stripper. All right, I'm good night. <laughs> Well, I look like you was hitting the pookie at first. Are you guys down? What? Hit the pookie? Hit the stookie? <laughs> the stookie? Yo, Vel, what time are we leaving tomorrow? Honestly, if you want me to keep on hunting with you, I'm going to leave. You drive and wake up. You drove your own car? When I wake up. You drove with this nigga or you? you I drove with them. Vel, they came with me. I was going to say, I'm leaving with you, so I want to set my alarm. I'm Nigga, how is it room for ever, all of us? What time is it right now? It's late. It's 3 in the morning. 3 in the morning, so I'll probably wake up like around like 11. Okay, I'm going to wake up at 10. Yeah, like 10, 11. I'll probably be there for sure. Right. Somebody getting cranky? I was going to say, what the fuck? I've never heard that. Yo, he's still going. Yo, wait, hold on. Oh, let me see the camera. Oh, sure. <laughs> hey, somebody just did some weak ass dog. You in the, in the parking lot? <laughs> it's gotta be that guy. <laughs> yeah, you could see the tire marks. Wow, he just got out of his car. He said, yeah, dude, I got this fucking new Ford F-150 and it's so fucking fast, dude. Did you guys film donuts, that? Dude. It has a limited slip differential and it just fucking gets sideways, boom, bam, bam. As soon as I just kick that throttle, man, it just really fucking twerks on the fucking floor, man. Yeah, it gets low and fucking drop it to the window, to the walls, man, to the sweat <laughs> drop down my balls, man. My car just fucking just goes crazy, man. All right, pause, pause. And then he just literally just did a fucking... A fucking one legger all the way around the motherfucking parking lot. You feel no, me? I, like, yeah, I think he's they got like a whole of, V4. I think he's in the middle of drift and now he's going up to. Call him, a, call him a nigger, here. Los Angeles! Bro, why are you over there? I'm fucking around. Um, That's just there for a reason, my guy. What? This thing? Why do people get so nervous? What? Yo, drift the car again! Yuri, don't fucking fall over here. Yuri! Hey. He's turning his car on. <laughs> This nigga's crazy, bro. Don't even do that shit. You're come here. Yo, yo, he's, he's come on, bro. Come on. Yo, come on. All right, all right, all right. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Bro, yo, 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 it's yo, giving yo, me anxiety yo. you being over there, bro. Dude, I see. He's little. I would come over. Oh there. no. Uh, well, I guess he's in between it. Bro, <laughs> hundreds and fifties. Big between ass titties. <laughs> Count the green. We're gonna get, get in between, between those titties. <laughs> Hey, come on, bro. What? Come on, man. Hey, this nigga.
Wow, hey. Hey, you about to pack you out, bro. Ooh. Like the motherfucking stream, subscribe to the stream. If you guys are not subscribed to how you do it, I need all you guys to subscribe to the channel. We've been live for well over an hour. We fucking lit. It's the last night in Vegas. We're going fucking home tomorrow. You feel me? Like, you know what I'm saying? ET fall home. We fucking hoes tomorrow. All of us. It's Yuri. Yuri's first. Especially. <laughs> <laughs> Especially not me. <laughs> yeah, I don't personally, I don't like hoes, but uh, I love them. But no. hey, I'm sure I could vouch for all of us when I say that. I like a long head, thick red bone. Nigga, come play me on that pussy, nigga. Hey, shout out to my niggas, man. RP, my nigga, Doodoo, for real. I just want to take time to say, RIP, my nigga Danny, man. We on the motherfucking top, top, tip, tip, tibbity, tip, tip of this bitch. You feel me? We going crazy, nigga. Y'all see the views. Y'all know what the fuck is going on, right? Subscribe to my motherfucking stream. Hey, subscribe to how you do it. I'm just saying, man. I be lit, y'all. And my shit be random as fuck. I don't got no days, whatever, whatever. My shit be lit, and I'm lit. Shout out to my nigga. Jay Rez for the $20 dono, man. Let's go. Should I take a shot? I'm fucked up, but I'm going to take a shot just for the dono, man. Are you serious? Or should we all take a shot? You already take a shot because I'm fucked up. You're definitely not drunker than me. I'm definitely fucked up. Seriously, not drunker than me. All right, you might be, you might be, you, but you like revived. I haven't threw up, so like I'm still building up to the sh shit show. You're promising a shot. And then you're going up to me going, Yuri, I promise a shot. You take it. Yeah. All right, let's go. Let's do it. <laughs> this is the fuck I'm talking about, man. Yeah, man. Come on. Take a shot, pussy. Man. I like a long. Hey, shout out to my phone for having service. Wait, hold on. I'm going to have to pick this up. Oh, my God. <laughs> Shout out to my phone for having service. <laughs> oh God, this should be tripping. Phones be tweaking, dog. For real. Shout out to, to the channel. Shout out to this ice chest for providing drinks. As that well. should have had ice the whole time we've been here. And drinks. Oh shit. Is that, is that what you're drinking? Hell yeah. I was gonna say, where's that Jose Cuervo? Oh, you good? You good? You good? Right. <laughs> I'm sorry. Let me put this away. What? Oh my god. There you go. It's gone. You, me one? you said you're too drunk. Oh, you gonna take the shot for me? Yeah. Hell yeah, let's go. Let's go. Hey, you got a fridge in your room? The bad room. What room? room? There's a fridge in your room, dude. I don't know how to fix that. Yeah, beer, man. Keep it. Good life. Shark, tell these niggas stop streaming, bro. <laughs> my nigga, I'm. It's late. I'm about to tell me on nothing. Hey, it's this nigga. nigga. Hey, listen to really? me. I think it's late. I think uh, it's a lot going on, man. Um, what are we streaming on? What's this? YouTube. YouTube. YouTube? How you do it on YouTube? Damn, how you do it? kind of went up, nigga. Yeah, yeah. How you kind of went up, bro? Let's go. It kind of went up. What you guys. What'd you think? Not kind of. It more than kind of. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I kept giving you talking to you analytics since it went on. It went up. That was so funny, bro. I mean, I think they even missed even the, the King Louis we were about to do, man. What was that, 470 yeah. a shot? That would have been insane. I was I think, Our bartender, no, our bartender, he fucked me. He saved us. Shout to fuck yeah. the bartender. And yeah. Jeffrey. I, he, Jeffrey. Yeah, no, yeah, real he, shit, though. Oh, bro, I, I, feel like, I feel like he took good care of us. Yeah, for sure. No, he what took excellent care of us. And yeah. I think it's also... be up under the lights. <laughs> Y'all know how I go, right? Bro, that was that was the craziest experience of my life. I appreciate you so much. That wasn't the craziest experience of your life. No, so lying to people. No, bro. this whole no, I'm not lying to people. No, yo, but you, Whoa, bro, yo, forty-seven up, bro. bucks. Right, Wait, hold on, no, 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 I'm not, no, 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 no cap. I feel like you've done a lot of great things in your life. No, that was the greatest. That was. Stop bullshitting me. Okay. Be real. I'm not gonna say the greatest. <laughs> because, because, I because, no, 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 hold on, let me. Like a fight teller, bro. I like <laughs> we're on an episode of Cheers. No, 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 no. This was not it. You no. would actually explain it to Joy. No, no, no. Am, am I rest in peace. He would actually explain it to him, like, look, it was not what you guys did. It was not what you guys did. This is not I what I wasn't enjoying it. No, wait, 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 no, So hold. this was your greatest experience. This was a super great experience because, bro. It was a super great experience, not your greatest. 
okay, you know, if, I'm, if, I'm, if I'm talking to God after I die, and he's, like, talking to me about meeting Riley and hanging out with Sharp at the bar, I'm like, it's gonna, like, bro, like I have to be like, yo, Riley is, oh, like, a so little crazy, right? Oh, so right you're doing. Yeah, but yeah. I have to say that, bro, 47 bucks... I've never had this experience of staying in a place like this. This <laughs> this has been immaculate beyond fucking belief. I got to kick it with him for like two or three days. That whole experience has been like very, very trippy. I got to kick it with you today. I know you got to kick, kick my house one yesterday. You were fucking busy doing other shit, but today I got to kick it with you. It's very, very I'm interesting. Shit too, bro. bro, no, wait, hold on. Wait, hold on. <laughs> let me, no, wait, I'm, 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 oh, I'm, I'm, I am I'm not trying to glaze. Let me land real quick, right? When, pe when people come to Hollywood, yeah. Bro, there ain't shit to do in Hollywood, bro. What can I do? Take it to Madame Tussauds Wax Museum? There ain't shit take to do in Hollywood, bro. Take it to Fast House. Bro, that's on. There ain't there shit, shit to do here. Unless no, you know. no, no, no. If you come out here, there's so much You've to do. You've never been out here for but dry, also, a, dry, I, a dry day. You've never been out here either for a dry sucks, day. You've been out in Hollywood for a dry day. So when people come out Is to there Hollywood, a dry day for you and like 47 bucks in Vegas? I mean, <laughs> shit. We could fuck around and go oh, hit us some fucking my nigga bucks. Why some you cheap steak and crap. I mean, for fucking $47, I mean, yeah, man, we can have us a regular day, but yeah. I'm saying, like, to come out, hang out, bro, this should be experience to just catch the wave. It's a little yeah. bit different. And, and that's what I'm saying, the wave that I hung caught. out with me for a couple hours. And the wave that I caught is something I've he never experienced before in my life. And that's what I'm saying, you're, you're about to impress some dude for not smiling so, enough. Let me grab something real quick. And that's what I'm saying, bro, is, like, the experience I've had this weekend is not something I'm saying is, like... I would never take for granted. I'm very appreciative. I appreciate everyone's every, every single person here. And this would not be the weekend of, it was without everyone that we had. Yeah. Hundred percent. This was like a whole crew thing. And then also, hey. I would not be here if it was not for forty seven bucks. To hey. be honest, he was the one who was like, "Yo, I got you in a room. I got just, you on this. Got you on that." I just want Shout to let you know. I want to be both of the niggas up for you, dog. But the guys who weren't smiling. We all yeah. knew this. And that's why I grabbed him <laughs> like a kid in second grade. Like, yeah, you bring him out of recess. He's being aggressive. Yeah, I'm not, you had to fucking grab you, you had to, I was like, hey, Bill. What? No, 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 one no, thing Bill. about me, though, I'm not the type Bill. of thing like, if my boys have all my niggas. No, I'm because you just wanted say, to Yo, smile. Go, it's, because, go. it's because you, you knew like, what was gonna... going on. Yeah. He yeah, knew that like... they were just streaming. We knew that you had no harm. You meant no harm to anybody. So when he saw cool, a boy bro. take it something type of personal, he's like, man, bro, put a smile on your face. Smile, yeah, you're nigga. not going to put a smile on your face. Nigga, we make tripping, you put a nigga. smile on your face. You're gonna be and I understand around. exactly that's what you're saying. Well, so that's say, where he came from. When exactly. He was like, hey, bro, he's just streaming, bro. He, Eerie, we love you, bro. We know you're not, you not going to hurt a fly. So he's looking at it like, dog, don't try to dog Yuri, bro. Like, yeah. Don't try to play crazy. games with him. The way he was looking and I understood where you came from with like, bro, put a smile on your face. Put a smile yeah. That's, that's yeah. why he said what he like, said. Relax, relax. And relax. I understood exactly. to put a yeah. smile on your face, yeah. bro. And I, I told him I before we left, like, hey, I, I told him before we left, I said, hey, man, I apologize for my friends. You know, I mean, nobody was trying. We, we never meant no harm. You know, just the yeah. way it happened for, you know, your street. But I'm not going to lie. And this is why I have to good, appreciate bro. you guys for dealing with my fucking stream, it's bro. Good, bro. I'm sorry, guys. I, I know mean, it can be very hectic. I mean harm. I mean harm? <laughs> you mean you mean no harm? Not a, not a, not initially, oh. not like. <laughs> but if a nigga is like, right? you know, disrespecting, I oh, mean harm. Sure. I don't mean harm. I come in peace. You feel me? But mm -hmm. disrespected, I mean harm. Like, sure. Yeah. I wish you were there when I when I walked into the fucking uh, hotel lobby. And I saw House I Phone talking to these two white dudes, and I saw Vel talking. I saw House. I saw Vel talking to this like four foot dude who was looking up at Vel like this, like he was fucking with his, though, wait, his fists were clenched. Bro. Bro, he was all clenched fists. His fists were clenched. He was looking at Vel like this. I wasn't even clenched though. I was just like, bro. Like, oh, damn, bro. And I, and I literally, you get though, man? I walked oh, past you and that go. dude, and I was already thinking like, love bro, Vel's about to rock this fool. I was like, I'm just gonna watch hey, this. Yo. <laughs> hey, nigga, kick house phone phone out of his hand, nigga. Kick phone. Kick. I heard about that shit. Kick uh, this shit. Punter this shit. Yaka, nigga, I'm on it. Oh. Wait, also, wait, hold up. Before we end this, I, 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 don't th I don't think anyone knows this, but yo, the, the person, I, we already talked about this a lot, so, you know, this is not so fetch, not some fetch shit, but the person that House Phone had that interaction with, when I got to that situation, right, there was this other random dude. And, and I'm the guy that House One had the interaction with, right? When I came over, he was like this, sobbing, crying. And the dude was like looking at fucking me, like mm -mm. 
aggressively like, what the fuck? Like, what'd you do to my homie? And and the dude was like, like, like this fucking sobbing, crying. That's what I saw when I came. I was like, bro, this fool was like literally crying to his homie that house one punched him in the face. That he could house one. House one, you just put it here. And we're not going to tell narratives tonight. Allegedly. On that. Allegedly. I don't know what the fuck happened. Hey, man, what <laughs> y'all like, comment, subscribe. Hey, man, we, look. Yuri reminds me of fucking Macho Man. He was like a pure cup of coffee. <laughs> big cup of coffee in the big time. Yeah. Look. I'm freaked out. 